and welcome to this upbeat session of <laughs> By Law and Order. We nail it every time. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't look at all like we were dancing. They're like, yeah. why are they all panting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, from the top, everybody. Yeah, yeah. the intro's right. a banger. Yeah, yeah just, okay. Oh, just need a cheese pizza to rebalance my electrolytes. <laughs> Good grief. Well, uh, I, if you haven't tuned in before, we are in the middle of uh, quite an adventure. This is session five. And so here's your summary. When we last left our party, they had heroically retrieved three of the ten guild signatures they needed to ratify the Azoria Senate's new unified Ravnican sausage standard, bracket ASURSSN, bracket number 2309-76-19. Unlike its predecessor, the at times suspiciously ambiguous decamillennial encased meat grading standard, the unified Ravnican sausage standard is an extraordinarily... <clears throat> extraordinarily thorough 270 pages. It includes a 16-page subsection with diagrams specifying exactly what pork is, an allowable sand by volume calculation table, and even appendix to cover what appendixes are permitted. TLDR, wombats and rabbits, A-OK, -okay. civets, mole rats, and humans, absolutely not. This legislation is partially like this because no Azorius bureaucrat has ever seen a paragraph they didn't think could be improved via the addition of several explanatory footnotes, but mostly because given the current decamillennial encased meat grading standards easily exploitable hair, def hair definition loophole, you can never be too careful. In addition to this vital work, our heroes Avenir, Enor, Nog, and Melander have also been hard at work learning about the Ravnik and specialty flower business, uncovering a plot to steal an experimental Izzert power generation device, and most recently traveling out to the furthest reaches of Ravnik and civilization to retrieve one Ogavin Gobran, an 18-year-old member of the Orzov Syndicate who had gone to visit his boyfriend. Which is how you now find yourselves on the Istrian line, escorting him back to the Admena Cathedral where his sister Sevmila serves as the prelate and chief loan officer. So let's introduce our players. Hi, I'm Cameron, and I'm playing Avenir. He is a third-level uh, inquisitive rogue, and he works as a diplomat with the Azorius Syndicate. Hello, I'm Ian, and I'm playing Enor. He's a third-level Liberation wizard working with the Azorius Syndicate, working on opening and closing property when appropriate. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm Ben, and I'm playing uh, Nog the Goblin. He is part of the Boros Legion. It's kind of the muscle and the security of the uh, the party. Also uh, joining me is my dog, Valencia, who I ride into battle as my noble steed, and she's adorable. Agreed. Hello, I'm Serge, and I'm, like, I'm playing Molander. Molander's a level three druid of, like, the circle of dreams, man. And we're all just trying to find a way to give back to Ravnica, you know, just like, yeah. Excellent. And for the next little bit of this uh, train journey, I will, play, I will be playing Ogavin, and I am an 18-year-old member of the Orzov Syndicate. And, oh my gosh, ha, I, this has been so nice of all four of you to take me all the way back to my sister, but, oh... It's just, uh, Ravnica is just so boring. Avenir, what do you do for fun? <laughs> well, I, uh, <clears throat> it was recommended, it's recommended that all young Azorius, uh, you know, aspiring executives uh, join the, either the Plains Ball or the Island Ball League. Mm. I joined the Island Ball League for intramurals. It's a good way to network and get to know everyone else in the syndicate who are in the uh, in the Senate who's moving up in the world. Uh, you know, I almost drowned last week, but that was fine. That was fine. I'm not very good at it, but you know, I got picked last, and that's okay. Uh, mainly, I just go to work for about 12 to 14 hours a day, and then I come home and go to the gym, and then clean my apartment, and then go to sleep, and then wake up, and go to work. And on my day off, I do laundry. Hmm, I'm I going look forward to, to retiring and having fun. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ogavin is not so much listening to you as he is waiting for his turn to talk. You can sort of tell this halfway through. <laughs> and he says, ugh, that must be something that you do. I just don't know. I've just, I've seen all of the, 
all of the things the city has to offer, but at least I can go to a Masaaki show on Saturday. Your boyfriend's auntie hit me with a log. <laughs> was that the most exciting thing that's ever happened to you, or the second most exciting thing that happened to you? It was almost the last thing that happened to me. <laughs> Like, Agathan, I get it, man. Like, for the longest time, I didn't feel attached to anything. But really, it's all about putting down roots. Like the roots of Vitu Ghazi, the world tree whose embrace covers Don't us all. Don't try to convert me to the Selesnia. I'm, I'm from the Orzov. We're not religious. <laughs> like... If you just find that you're lost and wandering, I don't know, we might have some answers for you there. We're very welcoming. <clears throat> uh, not that anybody's asked me, but uh, I'm a pretty big fan of going to the gym, going to uh, the park every once in a while with Valencia, throwing the all ball around, really just uh, meeting people. But honestly, what I'm hearing a lot of that of you, Agavin, is that you're just, you haven't found something that is really grabbing you. And I've always found that the hard work and the sweat of your brow is something that's really gonna bring a lot of fulfillment to your life. If you just work hard every day, then maybe you can, you know, settle down, you can retire, and uh, you'll, you'll have the satisfaction of a job well done. Always at your side. He just looks like sort of unimpressed. And he's like, I already have the satisfaction of a job well done. I do all the things that I wish to do extremely well because I wish to do them. Mm. <laughs> like take up three seats on the train? Oh, there's so much spreading out going on here. <laughs> he's got like his arms on. Uh, he's sort of insufferable. What about you? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> well, if you're looking for something that's particularly interesting, I recommend checking out some of the serial picture books from the Far Eastern Districts. They're quite interesting and very different from the ones you get here, but you have to find some people who can translate them from the original is it? Oh my god, Ian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. personally prefer the ones from about 30 years ago. They seem to be a little bit more in-depth. The newer ones are a little bit more pandering and a little bit more inter- uh, inter-district in nature. Oh my god, Ian! <laughs> I tried reading one, but then it had spoilers right at the beginning. <laughs> you have to flip the book over and read it from the other way. <laughs> oh, I don't read comics. Ogden nope. says. They're not very funny. Anyhow, after I would say <sighs> an, an eternity on the train with Ogden, uh, the an announcement comes on and shh, <clears throat> bong, bong, bong. Attention passengers, the next stop is Pinchina Station. Exit here for the Oz Boz Basilica. Doors will open on the left. And Ogden sighs and stretches and says, Ugh, come on, we may as well get this over with. So you depart the train and you walk a few blocks and you, and you, you recognize Admina Cath Cathedral. The subpar hot dog stand you stopped at earlier is ah. still there. They are still selling hot dogs if anyone is interested. <laughs> nope, not the ones we had last time. All right. So you just go directly to the cathedral then. Same. It's all like, it's, it's all very grandiose and gilded and imposing. It hasn't changed in two days, right? Mm. And you, and Ogavin just sort of like sashays in and starts just like tromping up the main carpet. And uh, as before, that there's a thrall that flies down from the ceiling with a little push vacuum that starts sweeping up his footsteps. And suddenly you just see him pivot and he's like, ah, oh, get out of here. Shoo, 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 shoo. And he, and it goes, ah, and flies back to the ceiling. He just looks, he goes, oh, I can't stand those things. They smell like wet toes. And uh, also because, they're super gross looking. Uh, just all of the things I have to deal with and sort of keeps marching down and uh, just sort of opens the door nonchalantly to uh, to the reception area where uh, the where Luz Dot, the syndic, is, is waiting and he goes, mm. Master Ogavin! And he goes, oh, greetings Luz Dot, pity you're still alive. You as well, sir! And then Ogavin <laughs> just like barges into his sister off sister's office and he goes, he sort of like does a little, sister, I have returned and please don't feel the need to stand on ceremony, you may Weep from relief. And uh, Prelate Sevmila puts down the book she is reading. Somebody roll me a notice check. 
18. I'm going to go with nope. It's uh, Retire at 355, updated and revised Decamillennial edition. Oh. Uh, and she gives Ogavin sort of a withering glare and then looks at the rest of you and says, I am impressed. I Yay. can tell. Mm. And then Ogavin pipes in, I know I look amazing. I've gotten such a tan. And Sevmiel's like, mm. Must be nice to not have any responsibilities, brother. You can just go on vacation whenever you want. Oh, I assure you, sister, I've been working hard. <sighs> do I have some paperwork for you to sign? Or do you have some paperwork for me to sign? Well, <laughs> we should get this signed as soon as possible so we don't have to spend any more, I mean, take up any more of your time. <sighs> Fine, great. Thank you for returning, my brother. I'm actually pleased. I will be in a few minutes, anyhow. <laughs> so she grabs the book, flips through it. Hmm. It seems rather specific, even by Azoria standards, to have six pages dedicated to the definition of bone pulp. It's better than not. Ugh. This is why I don't eat meat. So she flips to the very back where there's a signature page. Why is this covered in blood? Cruel. That's how they sign things. It's, it's mm -hmm. official. I'm doubly impressed. And you can tell she is. And she takes a very ornate gold pen with like lots of like inlay bits off her desk, licks it, and does a very ornate signature on behalf of the Orzov Syndicate. Hands it back to you. Check Much my appreciated. Copy as well. Checks out. Checks out. All Yay. right. Congratulations. You now have four of your ten signatures. Yeah. Thank you very much, brother. <sighs> Progress. We're nailing this. I hope your feast dinner goes well. Oh. What was the holiday? They were just going to their Duopsony. grandma's dinner. Duopsony? Oh, yeah. it's, the it's the Orzov holiday yeah. of Duopsony. And uh, it will go as well as it will go. And she looks over at Ogavin, who is now sitting with his feet up, picking his fingernails. And <laughs> but please, I am actually impressed. Come back any time as a friend of the Syndicate. I'd be delighted to offer you special rates on any business you wish to conduct with us. Thank you down. very much. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Writes down friend of the syndicate. Mm -hmm. Asterisk. That's a proper title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to, like, Nog, Nog is going to just, like, he's like, we got the signature and, like, walks out. like Backs out. Yeah, like, not not, not at all wanting to spend any more time in Orzov area <laughs> than mm. we need to. All right. Well, I will say, though. Uh, Sevmila is very impressed. Ooh. She was not able to track down her brother, and you guys returned him totally alive in two days. So we got a speedy delivery service if this whole neat thing doesn't work out. We're yeah, pe exactly. For people finders. Yeah. <laughs> so excellent. Is that just hit men? <laughs> I kind of like yeah. a, more like a light tap. Yeah. <laughs> So your well, business with the Orzov concluded. Do you mm -hmm. have, I believe you have another appointment today. Uh, yes, we needed to see, uh, go, go to see, um. Nona! Uh, yes, uh, Director Flar? Yeah, I just call her Nona, or Elga for short. Oh, okay. But we're going home. I'm so excited for me to introduce like my friends, like my family to you. Yes, I'll show yeah. you around. This is going to be great. I don't know if it's like, if, if you can audibly roll your eyes, but Nog is doing this. <laughs> Did you, I actually, you actually hear like the mucus membranes yeah, just like, like sluicing <laughs> around. Yeah. I don't Probably know if I told you. Probably just means you're dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we've stopped a drink in a while. <laughs> I don't know if I told you the best part. What's oh? the best part? We run a hot spring. <laughs> this is the hot spring episode, isn't it? <laughs> Great. That's, you know what? Like that actually around. sounds really nice, actually. I'm not going to berate that. Yeah. yeah. I, Considering I'm bleeding internally right now, I would really enjoy a, you know, a nice, relaxing... Ooh. Yeah. It's yeah. supposed to have magical healing properties, too. That, that would be really good, because I'm still down you, 3 HP. Why did you do that in air quotes? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, there might be some family drama, and... I don't want to get into it, but I'm not entitled to know the secret magical recipe. Right, but does it heal or not? Oh, it totally heals. Okay. Like, it might, like, nourish your soul and or heal, but it's totally magical. Like, you get in it, you just melt. Okay, I would... Because yeah. last time I tried visualizing a tree, the tree 
appeared in a much more physical <laughs> capacity than I was really prepared for. Uh, so to get to the Izvir Umik Wellness Retreat, mm. which is technically where Elga Flar works, to an onsen. Uh, you, you uh, by the way, she is one of the highest ranked members of the 6th District Selesnia's Vernati, which is a uh, mm -hmm. Selesnia group. And she is all, and she is Molander's grandmother. So you just have to take the Nova Gen line south to Precinct Four, and then get off at uh, Aravia, uh, Aravia Square, and it'll be about thirty minutes on the train. So feel free to ask Molander questions or not. How many family members do you got in the first place? Mm -hmm. Well, like all of the Selesnia are kind of like my big family, but like I have a big family inside this bigger family. Last time we checked. Like 170? Like in my generation. Huh. Like cousins? Yeah. Or... yeah, and brothers and sisters. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How, do you, who's your eldest sibling? Oh, man. You... So the names started getting like... No, fair enough. A little bit. No, like <coughs> I, I know them, but you might tease us because there's so many of us. My eldest sibling is actually named Lowlander. Yeah. So he's about like 150 years my senior, mm. and he's probably next in line to take over the hot spring, but, you know, we don't worry about it too much. But after that, <coughs> I'm the eldest. They call me second brother. Oh, really? Yeah. I would have picked you as a youngest brother. What? Yeah, like, as like the, the run, the... The baby. The baby. The baby the of baby. the family. The it's, baby of the family. You're so full of energy. But why? Well, you, you just seem very, uh... Ignored. Okay, like, yes. like, I get it. I spent a lot of time growing up just reading. Like, I was so engrossed in the teachings of Selesnya and wanting to get out there that I never actually got out there. Oh, okay. And it was actually really my, my Voda who sat me down and was just like, you should probably get out there and, like, see the world or something. Your, your Voda, that's like your boss, right? It's more of a spiritual connection than that. Votas are very important. They're kind of like a leader, and they're kind of like my best friend. Oh. Do every, does everybody do these kind of like pilgrimages like they're doing right now? To get out, it depends. You know, it really depends on how you express <clears throat> giving back and giving and expressing community, right? Ooh. Like for some people, community is the people around you, and for other people, community is all of Ravnica. My, my 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 I guess my main question that I kind of do like has everybody sort of had some sort of experience with the outside world and all that kind of jazz or are most going to be not familiar with barriers that certain people have put up in between themselves in terms of touching? I just need to know how much Ravnik version of Purell I need to bring. People are gonna want to hug you. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Um. Um. <clears throat> Should I do uh, like an out of character thing? Because the Voda is a very cool idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the Voda is a dryad. So every Selesnia thingy, mm -hmm. uh, conclave, and then the, what's the one down from the conclave? Well, the Very conclave beautiful. is the overall thing. <clears throat> yeah. And right. then uh, they, but that's all Selesnia. And Selesnia is a series of enclaves, but the enclaves are called Vernadis. There we go, Vernadis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a central tree mm -hmm. that goes back to Vito Gazi, the world tree, the main one that's there. And the tree that you have spawns a dryad. Mm -hmm. And the dryad is this very interesting thing because it's simultaneously the leader of the community, but also occupies a position of being a like, direct spiritual counselor for every single person of there. Huh. So it's not, it's not <laughs> unreal for, for uh, Vitu Ghazi and Trostani to know me personally because the dryads have direct connection with all of them. So, oh. yeah, I have a person who is simultaneously my leader, but also Sir. like, a, like a, um, a, a, almost a pastoral-like person that you have a very close relationship right. with and you can just talk to whenever. This is very important. So the Vodas have a way of communicating with each other remotely? Yeah, man. Mm. Like, all through the roots of the world tree. It's like a Vodafone. Yes. It's like a Vodafone, dude. Whoa. Wow, that's so clever. I was once brought to a meeting with the assistant deputy minister. I think I made a good impression. Oh, yeah, and that's that's part of like really feeling connected and being part of the Celestia. Like my root, our roots go everywhere, man. 
It's good stuff. All right. So after some nice chit chat, you hear <coughs> bong, bong, bong. Attention, passengers. The next stop is Aravia Square. Doors will open on the right. You get off the subway and into some box text. Where I explain <laughs> the Selesnia for those people who may not know what we we're talking this about. This area is thick with it. Oh boy. This is okay. just like a, 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 a drift of pollen enters. <laughs> <laughs> the flower just, petals. You, your movements gum down as, I, the, as I, the, the narrator is just like, now it's my turn. I envision <laughs> that like reboot, like warning incoming game kind of <laughs> <interesting> scenario. <laughs> not every, I feel like the need to explain this to people. No, I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's no, great. No, 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 it's great. <clears throat> so the Selesnia Conclave. Although there are ten guilds that supposedly rule Ravnica equally, it is commonly accepted that some, some guilds rule it a bit more than others. The reasons for this are complex and shrouded by the mists of time, but most Ravnican historians tend to agree with the groundbreaking theories of Wexity Moxo Daughter, the legendary dean of Prism University's hyper-theoretical philosophy department. It is evident that no guild would have willingly agreed to a magically binding contract that would diminish their status vis-a-vis -vis the other guilds, her oft-quoted argument begins. Therefore, all guilds presumed they would govern equally, even though they were signing an agreement that gave one group control of the literal rule of law and another one light entertainment. It is also evident to anyone with half a brain that this would someday be a problem. QED, the original Paroons who signed the guild pact, were idiots. Moxo daughter's arguments aside, though, the Ravnican power structure does work in strange and unpredictable ways. There is no bigger proof of this than the fact that the Selesnia Conclave is one of the most powerful guilds on the plane, despite the fact that the average Ravnican could not tell you what it actually does. <laughs> Other guilds have a clear purpose and job to perform. The Izzet make the trains go, the Orzov run the banks, the Boros pr protect the peace, the Simic will mend a broken arm or replace it with a tentacle. The Selesnia Maintain some of the parks. Talk a lot about living in harmony with nature. Give uncomfortably long hugs. And yet, they are not only the biggest guild in terms of raw membership. They've also been voted hippest communal, liver, hippest communal living nature religion slash armed militia experience four years running in the 6th six, the District's Times Picayune's annual holiday destinations readers poll. The Selesnia Conclave believe that everyone should work together to create a utopian society where Matt Selesnia, the soul of Ravnica itself, guides civilization to live in harmony with nature. The sort of people that join the Selesnia Conclave are gentle souls who enjoy vegan smoothies, don't mind group projects, and have a loose understanding of personal boundaries. The mention of group projects sends Avenir just into an unconscious cold sweat yeah. <laughs> to be like, huh. I just threw up a little in my mouth. <laughs> That's weird. So you're in Aravia, which is a very safe upper middle class neighborhood that borders the six districts uh, Selesnia territory. And this is a lovely affair paved in cobbles that's studded liberally with planters and flower boxes. And the north side has like little cafes and boutiques that sell like pottery and jewelry and crystals and shapeless clothing made from natural fibers. And the south side borders the Verdani, and you can tell because the entrance is marked by an enormous four-story four tall Selesnia guild gate that has been carved out of solid white stone. Beyond it, there's just a thick canopy of trees, punctured by, occasionally by stone and copper roofs. I'm just going to get off the train and point to somebody wearing green and white. You! Hug? <gasps> Molander! I'm, I'm home! Oh, and we hug. Oh, God, I miss this. <gasps> Valencia does like one of those like, like <laughs> dog paw over still like, for embarrassment. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like, oh, it's been so long. How long has it been? Oh, like, like days. Weeks, days, weeks even. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. How oh. are the Azorius? Are they as awful and boring as I heard? They, they're like, they're like fine, man. But like... Everyone keeps saying I have boundary issues, and I don't get that because I don't have any boundaries. So where are the issues? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so happy to see you. One oh, more big hug. More hugs. I, I have to go. I have to go and go shopping, but I'll see you later, Melander. Thanks. Bye, friend. Bye. Avenir oh. has claw marks in his neck where he's been itching <laughs> unconsciously. Okay. Like, 
I'm excited to show you around, but let's get through the gates and then very quickly, I just have to quickly check in with my Voda. It's been, it's been a while and like, it's been, I don't know if I've ever gone this long without just checking in. So like, okay. should we also go with you or is this more of a solo? It's, there's a waiting room. Oh. You don't have to go with them. There'll, there'll be a place for you. Yeah. Go. Yeah. This is, this is a private thing. Like you're welcome to check things out, but kind of like not cool for non Selesnia. by all means. If you ever want to join, it's totally open, and we love to do that. But until you're a Selesnia, like, the Voda's time is very important. Absolutely not. My whole thing is literally making boundaries. <laughs> yeah, uh, the hard pass or brain yeah. check. It won't take long. Yeah, I mean, sure. We're not on a schedule. Let's go talk to your guru. Yeah, you're going... Going into the Selesnia territory, but before you go, you do see there's a hot dog cart. Heck yeah! Might as well find out what they've got. <laughs> not, hot dog not... in a bun! <laughs> hot dog in a bun! Is the little goblin she, who's running this, uh, this hot dog Not claps and he's like, this is the best part about this whole adventure, is seeing all these different hot dogs. I was Regional hot dogs. <laughs> hot dog in a bun! Says this little goblin. Hey, you! Hey! Hot... How hey. you doing? Hey, you want a hot dog? Absolutely, that's what I'm here for. Excellent. I need two. Excellent. These are all natural hot dogs. They exceed decamillennial standards. Okay, hold. Uh, two questions. What yeah. kind of hot dogs are they? They're pork. Okay. Okay. So for realsy pork. Mostly, probably. Okay. I. They just... exceed decamillennial standards, which I realize isn't much, but they do. I just assumed that everything here would be like a tofu dog or some sort I'm of not vegetable. a member of the Selesnia. They can't eat that. They can't make me eat their slop. Sounds great. I'll take two of those then. All right. They're 15 zibs and five zibs if you want it with mustard and fried potatoes on top. That sounds incredible. I want that now. Ben wants that now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Jer that's a New Jersey hot dog. Is it really? Yeah, that's how oh. it mustard and fried potato. Anyhow, that would be two. 40 zips, please. I hand over 40 zips. There's your hot dogs. Anybody else want a hot dog? Exceeds decamillennial standards. I'd sell them to a goblin, and that's that's a mark of quality. <laughs> <laughs> Exceeding generally can mean one of two things. <laughs> I watch, I watch, uh, 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 Nog eat. <laughs> Just like, It's really good! These hot dogs are totally fine. Yeah. I would say these are solid, they're not the Thames that you had out mm. in, uh, in the, in the mountains. Mm. But those were probably the greatest hot dogs ever known to man. Mm. Or at least known to Ravnikans. Valencia, like, uh, just basically scarfs hers down. And, uh, yeah, I, I do the same. These were delicious. I'm so happy. Hot dogs! Hot dogs, you look like you like a dog or two! Uh, I don't normally go for street sausage, but sure, what the heck, let's try one of your moist, supple dogs. You want them with that? You want that with uh, mustard and fried potatoes? Always in the local fashion, please. 20 zibs. Mark down 20 zibs. These hot dogs are fine. Yeah. You will suffer no absurd. If you eat the hot dog, you will regain one HP. If you Ooh. have lost any HP. I certainly have. All right. Oh, wait, we haven't had a rest, have we? Nope. Luckily, we have a hot spring coming up. Ooh. So, anybody else wanting hot I'll dogs? I'll pass. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to be aggressively fed by my family, so I will pass. Yes. Okay. That's fair. So... Inwards, you go to the Verdani. It's very lush. The 6th the District Verdani is unique because it is also connected to a network of natural hot springs. And the biggest of this has been used to create the Izvir Umik Wellness Retreat, which is a popular destination for Ravnikans from all walks of life to ingest healing concoctions, undergo detoxification rituals, and receive a healthy dose of Selesnian spirituality. Many people believe the waters of the Izvir Springs are blessed by Matt Selesnia herself and have the power to heal both body and mind. But you're heading straight for the Voda, right? So the Verdani Central Tree, you walk down some beautiful paths and there's trees and white stone buildings that appears to be what the sort of the aesthetic here is. Um, and it's all like very lush and like sort of landscaped and, and tended, but in a very natural in a slightly overgrown way, you know what I mean? So like, there's order and it's maintained, but it's very verdant, I would say. Uh, it's not like just the wilds though. 
you can see the trees have been chosen for aesthetic qualities and stuff. Right, it's cultivated, but it still intrudes on your personal space a little bit. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the Verdani central tree is a massive oak tree that's 60 feet tall and has an enormous canopy that spreads out probably 100 feet. And you can see it and as you sort of walk towards it uh, you and get under it. The branches are so large and so thick that it becomes noticeably darker and cooler because you are in the shade of the tree's canopy. Mm. Uh, and uh, the Verdani's main path is this beautiful um, like stone path it's done in like a herringbone pattern Ooh. and has like little like small plants that are down the side and stuff like that. It's very beautiful. But the path to the to the central tree is a much smaller, much narrower affair. Uh, and when it uh, splits, there is actually a white stone gazebo that is absolutely overgrown with a fragrant honeysuckle that uh, appears to be a waiting area of sorts for mm. people who are waiting to go see the Voda. Oh, OK. Well. I guess we'll wait here for you to come back. Yeah, thanks, friends. It shouldn't take long. It's just like like a wellness check, but for my soul. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, hope they don't find <clears throat> anything. <laughs> Me too? <laughs> Good luck. Good no, luck. I actually like bursts out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Poke around here and look for the magazines. Oh, there are no magazines. Ow. There might be some pamphlets on joining the Selesnia. This is going to be much less interesting of a wait than... Valencia goes, like, sniffing around at, like, random spots There's throughout the There's so many places for her to sniff. There's lots of bushes for her to pee on. <coughs> she oh, she to. pees over... Like, she stops, like, every couple of minutes to, like, pee on a bush. Valencia's going to have a great time while you guys are oh, waiting. Gonna be, it's like oh. a big old park. Is it all off leash? I mean, I guess she doesn't really ever wear a leash. Do, do not take Valencia down to the Voda. Okay. Oh, man. I'll, I don't want to pee on your Voda. <laughs> Avenir pulls out the, uh, the, 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 the ASURSS mm -hmm. and reads it not with an intent, not with an eye for content, but for eye for, a fo for the form. Mm. He needs to learn how to write like this someday. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to say you uh, gain a plus two the next time you need to make a contract with nesting footnotes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This sucks. <laughs> yeah, if this, uh, you can see from this that this is intensely written. It is beyond thorough. Right. Uh, like anything you could possibly define is in this contract. Uh, there are footnotes and appendixes that cross reference each other. This is, this has been poured over. It is Ooh. ridiculous. Exquisite and agonizing. It is incredibly legal. It's all very vital. If there's one thing we've learned from several thousand years of this guild pack, it's that anyone will take any opportunity to cut a corner. It's uh, possibly a little overwritten, mm. but I don't know. It's up to you to tell Obort Zunak that. Yeah, no, I mean, a thousand lawyers with a thousand years. Yeah. So you're going to head down to the Voda. I Good am. Going. I'm very excited. All right, so you. <clears throat> Approach the tree, and a dryad emerges from its branches and smiles warmly at you. Yeah. Molander! It's I, so I'm so glad to see you! I'm and like, she gives you a big hug. Okay, good. I was going to try and like bow really quickly, but if she's interrupting the bow for a hug. It's no, like, no, no, no. Oh. I know you haven't been here for like a week and a half, but that's okay. It's so good to be back. Big oh, hug. Oh, my goodness. How was your journey to the outside world? I feel like I'm learning a lot, but like I have a lot more to learn. You know? Mm. Like, whoa, that sounded really wise. Mm, I can tell that this has already been such a formative experience for you. What is the most interesting thing that you have learned? Um, there are people that live in the sewers. Yeah. But they like it that way. Yeah, and I've been told and brought up to accept people for who they want to be. And not a lot of people want to join us. And, like, I've been trying. But, like, I guess at the end of the day, if it's all about giving back, it doesn't matter. It's about making sure everyone's happy and giving back to Ravnica, right? Mm, and how have you been giving back to Ravnica specifically? Oh, so this sausage thing is awesome. What is this sausage thing you speak of? So apparently people could just like put whatever inside of a sausage. 
Oh yeah, I, knew, now, I do know that. But now my new friends are trying really hard to specify what goes into the sausage, and we're getting people to sign off on that. And that's totally going to help people, right? Because like, what if they ate poison? Now mm. they can't. Or actually, I don't know what'll happen if like it gets signed and people still make the sausage wrong, but I'm helping. I imagine since you are working with the Azorius, they will issue a variety of fines. Oh, cool. Yeah. And one of them also stabbed a dude. It was pretty hardcore. Whoa. Yeah. Have you engaged in violence, Melander? I may have accidentally hit my friend with a stream of air while <laughs> also trying to knock away a giant insect. Mm. But like... Oh, I also hit a person with acid. Yes, I have, but it was for the good of Ravnica. Mm, that, you must always remember that Matt Selesnia has given us strength and given us gifts. Right. But we must use them not out of anger or rashness or for self-gain, but to protect our community and Ravnica and the world soul. I definitely feel like I did that. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Melander, I know that some members of your family were maybe not as pleased that you decided that you have to you had to leave the Verdani to go and find your way to contribute. But yeah. I truly believe that you are on the right path for yourself. Yo, thank you, because, like, Nunna was not happy. Oh, no, she was pissed. Yeah, and, like, this dinner's going to be really <laughs> awkward, and, like, I really hope she signs it despite our falling out. We don't know this. <laughs> but, like, I, I, this has got to be the right way. It is the right way for you. Sometimes to contribute to a community, you must enhance yourself so you have the gift to give back more. Yeah, longer. like, you can't help other people if you can't help yourself. Exactly. Okay, cool. Thanks for backing me up, dude. Or NP. Dry, dude. <laughs> yeah. Just oh. cut back to us, and we're, we're all like, oh, this is so nice. It's going to be a nice, easy, <laughs> yeah. straightforward signature. I think no my favorite drama, thing about this no dinner fighting. that's coming up is how welcoming and accepting it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it smells great here. <laughs> uh, if there's one thing I can't handle right now, it's family drama. I'm so glad we were able to <laughs> avoid Specific, that. Specifically yeah. kind that involves that of a parental figure. <laughs> yeah, cool. I, I would hate for something like that to happen in my near future. <laughs> Weird. I just got a nosebleed. <laughs> okay, well, like, my new friends are waiting for me, and I really believe we're doing what's best for Ravika. Oh, Namaste, Molander. Namaste. May Matt Selesnia's <laughs> blessings fall to you wherever you go. I'll remember the, the sweet embrace of Itugazi everywhere I go. Goodbye, Molander. And then the dryad goes back inside the tree or wherever she sp spends her free time. Oh, I feel so cleansed now. God, I need to get that off my chest. Okay, okay, back to my friends. Gods? Gods, yeah, I should have been like... <laughs> Oh, V2. <coughs> Feels so good to get that off my chest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the dryad yeah, pops up. Friends? Don't take V2's name in, name in vain, Melander. Jeez. Sorry, my dude. <laughs> Try it, dude. Well, goes back into her tree. All right. Okay, I feel I feel much more in touch with myself and my community. Thank you for, for giving me some time. Let me Let me introduce you to my family. There's a lot of us. I'm really excited I could use a good soak in a bath. Yeah. yeah, like I might even get you guys into the the secret area reserved only for family. Why? Okay, that's yeah. Sounds... Like this is a really popular place for tourists, mm. but of course we, you know, there are some perks to being a member of the conclave. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I'd have to cover it out of pocket because I don't think this would go on our expenses. Uh, that would probably count as, you know, an inappropriate gift. In I would think. Yeah. Extraneous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how to expense this. But yeah, I would love to. Yeah. So like when I was saying that we're like a giant family inside of a giant family, mm -hmm. I have a giant family. Oh, okay. Neat. Like literally there's there's hundreds of us. I... Literal giants too? No, mostly wood elves, <laughs> at oh, least okay. in, in our branch. Far out. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, I mean, lead the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I take them to my ancestral home. Well, 
So you actually head out to, do you head to your home or do you head to where your grandmother's going to be at work? Oh, yeah, work first, probably. Yeah. Okay, I, well, let's go to her office. All right. So you go to the Izvir Umik Wellness Retreat, which is actually not that far away from where you are. It's a very nice walk, pretty short, maybe 10 minutes. And uh, like most of the buildings in this Verdani, it is a white stone affair. It's got cedars and gardens and fruit trees and brand and like uh, climbing vines exploding into flowers. It's very beautiful. Uh, and uh, you pass through an enormous door of a pair of carved wooden doors that are huge. They're like 12 feet tall and they have the Selesnia like insignia on them. And you find yourself in a very clean, very bright, very high ceilinged reception room. Hmm. All the fabrics are white. All the fibers are natural. It is the sort of simple and clean that's politely whispers, I'm expensive. Uh, Avenor, Enor, make me a perception check. 16. Uh, and... 13. All right. Enor, you're pretty sure you've seen this place before in one of the various inoffensive home decor magazines that the Senate stocks in its waiting rooms. <laughs> Avenir, you have seen this room before because it was on the cover of the Mokosh edition of Ravdik and Home and Garden. And you know this not because you read Ravdik and Home and Garden, but because Gwiz Vodnik nicked it from the waiting room to prop up a loose table leg in the break room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one of the things you just pick up by osmosis. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh. Uh, and you're in there, and there's a young-looking elf in a crisp white uniform sitting behind the reception desk, and she manages to look attentive, yet not menacing. It's kind of beautiful in here. Not like what we've got, if I had no idea what we did. <laughs> hey, what's up? Molander! Yeah, I'm home. How this is your doing? cousin, Dania, by the way. Yeah, what's up, Dania? Oh my god! It's so good to see you again. One second, Melander. Some Azorius people just walked in. Hello. Are you here to recharge, to connect, or relax? We're actually here with Melander. Yo, these are my new friends. Oh, my gosh. Okay, one second. And she comes and gives you a oh, big, my goodness. long hug. Just like big. It's like 10, 15 second affair. And then <sighs> she turns to Nog. And then she gives him a big, long hug. Yeah. This is this is a traditional Selesnia welcome. Nog, like, just, like, is, like, clumped in, like, hands to the side and everything. Like, it's easier if you just relax. <laughs> After about 15 seconds of agony, she puts you down. And then she goes up to <laughs> Avenir and she's like, hello! And she gives you a big, long hug. I feel my ribs compress. <laughs> But oh, I, careful, you know, he got hit by one, a log. Two, oh. three. <laughs> oh my gosh, here. And then she starts giving you a back massage yeah. while she's hugging you. She's really I think getting that's in where there. It hurt. Yeah, good. <laughs> Her and then, hands are like magic, Avenir. And then she finishes with you after a good 20 seconds because she's giving you an extra massage. And then she goes to Enor and she's like, hello and welcome. Wedding gruel. And I'll just take your advice <laughs> and, com and relax completely. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. so supple. It's like you don't even need to come to the spa. Did you just hmm. go limp? <laughs> <laughs> it's easier if you relax. Oh, Melander. Hi. Nana Elga is waiting to see you in her office. <sighs> go on ahead. Just go up the staircase. It says employees only. Yeah, I know the way. So okay, we're... I'm going to introduce you all to my Nana. Oh, this should be great. Yeah! I'm excited. She's I mean, great. I mean, this probably will be the easiest signature we've ever gotten, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, like, Obord was pretty easy, and your boss is pretty easy, but I expect, you know, Melander's Nona to be yeah. supportive. And, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, we'll get this one now out lickety split. We All got right. the inn. Okay, uh, follow me up the stairs. And then we're going to get to the door, and I'm going to open the door very dramatically, and like do the hand gesture to lead you in mm -hmm. and not follow you in the room. What? Where'd he go? <laughs> so, and I'm just like doing a really bad job of like hiding. Uh, uh, Nog Are looks you like around. That, that kitten in the video who's afraid of the vacuum cleaner or? D don't, this is, no, this is more akin to like those moments where you go over to like a new friend's house and they take their shoes off and they just start walking in. And then you don't you stand there not knowing what to do, like if you're allowed to like continue walking into the house. Yeah, you take like your shoes oh, off. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, apparently this is the etiquette. We yeah. come in and then we back up out the door. 
Nog backs out the door. Yeah. Just go. And I give the thumbs up. Okay. Okay. The desk. Hello. The, the, the room. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. And like, so I'm from the other side of the door, I guess, like, I'm also like doing this. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm actually just like face palming right now. We, we come to get a signature. <laughs> So you look in, the office is bright, it's white, it's the same aesthetic as everything else. There, there's standard business accoutrements because there's a desk and a filing cabinet and one of them peanut pneumatic tube systems that goes mm. when you put a message down it. Uh, there's also white armchairs and a chaise lounge and like a tea cart and like a bay window and lots of flowers. It's a very nice office. Uh, and uh, Nana Elga is a very small, very old looking elf with a face that seems to be pinched up into a permanent smile. She looks like one of those anime characters that never opens their eyes. Wait, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I would like to do a, uh, <clears throat> what is it, an insight roll here? Sure. If this is a facade. I just, I get, I get a bad vibe off anyone with that, like, perpetually happy expression. Uh, what's your roll? Eleven. This is using my eye for de- no, ear for deceit. Uh. She appears to make that expression because she is very old and her face appears to have stuck that way. Uh oh. Not necessarily out of genuine. <laughs> yeah. Happiness. We're going to yellow alert here. <laughs> her hair is very long. It's very it's totally white. And she's got a big braid around her head. And then she looks at you and goes, <clears throat> Oh, hello. Molanda, please come and see your nana. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, I, 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 hi, Nana. Hi. Oh, yes, yes. I'll come around and give her a hug. Mm. Oh, Molando, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy. It's good to see you too, Nana. It's been, what, a week and a half? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh it's so, ah, I, it's it been... is warm. An old lady's heart to see her favorite, one of her favorite grandsons. I mean, there are so many. How could I? How could I compare them? But uh, Molander has always been special in my heart and in our family. Ah, now, of course, I do have some Azorius people coming by to talk to me about some paperwork. So yeah. why don't you just sit down and get yourself some tea so we can have a nice long catch up? And, oh, you must be the Azorius paperwork people. I, I get to work and start making tea. Yes, and. So, Molander, have you brought any new members for our guild? I brought friends. And are they interested in joining the Selesnia? I'm working on it. Hmm, I see, I see. Well, I do appreciate that you have left the family to go and chase your own dreams and uh, have returned somewhat empty-handed, but that's okay. Just one moment. She just... Yes, yes, no, no. She just and grabs just a piece of tea. paper. From her desk, writes something on it very quick, puts it in the tube, and it goes. And says, like, "Ah, and I suppose you're planning on after you're leaving after you get my signature on your sausage regulations." Y yes, no, no. Oh well, no, no, no! We're going to stay for a little bit, maybe like you know, <clears throat> soak in the springs. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes, yes. Stay for the hospitality, Molanda. I'm so glad you planned on spending time to visit your family. Because as you know, it would be extremely rude to simply march in here and demand that I do something to help the Azoria Senate and then flounce off again when I haven't seen you in a week and a half. So, you know, we'll get to that in good time. You bureaucrats can be so impatient. Uh, we've already had 76 years of, oh, what did Mr. Obort say in his, his memo? He sent me, meet anarchy is what he wrote. So I... <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite albums. <laughs> I insist you stay a while and you join in some of our community. Yes, and Nana. you'll see how family is so important to the members of the Selesnia Conclave. I'm sure once you spend some time with us, you'll understand our values a little bit better. Yes, Nana. We, we could probably afford to spend a day here. Yeah. Oh, yes, excellent, because of course we are having a large family dinner tonight in honor of Molander's return. Do you know it has been a week and a half since we've seen him? That's you've a very long time for Selesnians. You've mentioned. Mm. And of course, so since we are having a family dinner and a friend of Molander's 
as a friend of the family, and of course you are all invited, which is very good because Molando, we have gotten some new members oh. to the to the conclave since you have left, and I oh, would just yeah. love for you to meet them. Totally, I always want to make new friends. Oh, you see, I feel that it's, I appreciate these adventures you're going on. Tea now, and I pour it. Oh, yeah, well, like, you're giving me my tea first. Yeah, though, of right? course, of course. Mm. And I like start handing them tea. Well, oh, you're like... always the best of my grandchildren at making tea, oh, Molander. Thank you. You just have such a, a grasp of the grind and the water temperature. Well, like, you know, you raised me about about community, and mm -hmm. you know, I just always wanted to give back to to the community of Ravnica. You know. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about giving back to the community of Ravnica by giving me some great ch grandchildren yet? But like, you've already got so many. I've only got 300, Molanda. I do not know what is wrong with your generation. <sighs> now. Between them all, I've heard that uh, it's the rising cost of housing, really, that uh, seems to do it in Ravnica. Mm, well, if you join the Silesnia, you would not have an issue with that. We have enough for to go around and we all work collectively. We do have some pamphlets if you're interested. Yes, Nanda. I serve you three tea. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to keep it in mind. Is it possible by any chance, um, you know, while we've got you here, mm. uh, to, to get the signature now and, and then we can all go out for dinner and, and do all that thing and then we can be on our way and not bother you again in the future? Sorry, what? I'm hard of hearing. I'm very old. She is very old. Is there any potential? Oh, oh, not like that. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you at dinner, you keen young goblin. Nona is famous for her selective hearing. Oh, sorry, it's a... I mean, in in the Boros, if someone doesn't hear, we just shout louder. Oh, and potentially, yeah, you. potentially more aggressively. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. This is amazing, what's in it? Oh, it is green tea with jasmine blossoms and rose petting petals and the blessings of Matt Selesnia. You can really taste the blessings. Indeed. Is, it, is that short for matriarch, or is it named Matt? That is the world soul of Ravnica itself. It is the guiding spirit of nature that gives the plane energy and infuses us all with life. Yeah, Matt. Matt tastes great. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, give us some more Matt. <laughs> oh, you want more? Yo, here. Sure. <laughs> I'm just like very earnestly top your cups up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it all cheers good? to Matt. Am yeah, I right? Cheers to Matt. Yeah, yeah. It's working, Nona. <laughs> I will see you at dinner, Malanda. Yeah. Okay, I'll. I'll, I'll Go and talk to Dania. Yeah. And, and Dania will get them a room. And you oh. show them to the hot springs. Oh, cool. I totally thought we were all just going like, to get a crash in my room, but I appreciate that you got some lodgings for us. I also appreciate that we have our yes. own rooms. I... Thank you. What sort of hospitality do you think the Selesnian Conclave would offer up? Communal. Yeah, some sort of... Uh, cuddle puddle? Like, I have a very, very large bed. Separate room sounds pretty yeah. cool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate the legendary hospitality of the Selesnia Conclave. Thank mm. you very much, Director. Ah. You are as polite as any Azorius bureaucrat ever is. As necessary. <laughs> so as, as we're walking you places, I'll still go in. So like, Nana and I may have had kind of a big fight a no week kidding. and a half ago. Yeah. Why didn't you tell us? Yeah. Well, I didn't think it was still going to be relevant because like, I didn't expect that you were inviting us over to your place to raid your parents' liquor cabinet. Like, um, So, like, here's what happened, man. We all talk about giving back to Ravnica. Mm -hmm. But I want to help all of Ravnica because mm -hmm. that's because that's like what the what, it, what the teachings are all about, you know? Bigger picture. But Nunna is really, you know, Nunna is old and she's like, why help everyone? when you can help around, you know, help the Selesnia, you know? So it's all about helping community, but the definition of community is pretty different. Ah. So, you know, I think there's a chance to see past our differences because we're, you know, at the end of the day, we're all the same and it's about respecting each other's choices. Mm -hmm. But I'm an adult now. Like, 
I'm 150, and it's time for me to find my own path. I'm, I'm sure we all... And my we, vote has got my back, you know? We all know the struggle of knowing someone named Matt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and when you're related, it can be even more of a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, I feel so much better now that I got bit off my chest. So, um, out of curiosity, yeah. Um, are there any other family members that are gonna sort of feel the same sort of tension while we're here? No, we're all pretty tight, and like we get it, and and <clears throat> I hope there's no drama. We're pretty low drama. There's like no drama. So it's just with you, no, no. No, no, but yeah, no, no was my grandfather. Right. Mm. A no, no. Well, all right then. I guess we should get checked in. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Well, we'll, we'll talk to Dania. Dania? Yeah. yeah, Dania is sitting at the desk and she is reading the letter that went shoop, down the tube, and she is doing something. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> and she sees you and she goes, "Oh, excellent. Okay." Uh, Nona has, uh, informed me that you will be staying with us for the evening. So please, let me show you to the guest quarters and to the hot springs. It has been instructed that we should definitely, uh, take you and show you around and give you the best hospitality that we can because you are friends of Melander's. Yeah. So, you, she gets out from behind the reception desk and leads you down a long hallway and you can tell there's yoga studios and massage things happening in, in here and it's all this big wellness retreat. And you go to door, you go to a beautiful lush courtyard that's framed in by walls of dense hedges. And on the left side of, of, of this courtyard is the entrance to the Verdani's Great Hall. And Melander, this is where you have family dinners. Yay! Uh, and she's like, this is the Great Hall? Dania says. She's like, this is where you will be joining us for a small and intimate family dinner earlier or later this evening. And then, but on the other side of the courtyard is this beautiful wood building with like big windows and stuff like that. And uh, this is the hot springs building. And you can see that there's a fence sort of connected to it. You can see steam rising up from behind the fence. And you go in this and you go in the door and you can smell the air. It smells very it's clean and fresh and slightly just woody. Oh, it's mm. good to be back. Breathe it in. And uh, she holds up the door for you. <sighs> and then you can see there's entrances to men's baths and women's baths. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she leads you down a further <coughs> hallway and you can see that there are guest rooms. And she goes, takes you down to the very end guest room. And she says, here we are, the room of endless harmony. Matt Selesnia be with you. And she gives you each a key and a long hug. <sighs> <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs ropes. Yeah. <laughs> so you open the door, and it's this incredibly beautiful, massive room. Whoa. Avenir, this is probably bigger than your apartment. It's got like a seating area that's like piled with cushions, and there's windows that look out onto a private garden, and like the walls are wood, the floor is wood, the ceiling's wood. It's all very tasteful wood paneling, like this light wood. Uh, and then there's like, and there's like separate like bed areas mm. off the sides and stuff like that. Molander will know this is pretty common for like Selesnia communal living. Like you have like private spaces in the shared communal space for like family, like direct family apartments or like groups of people that prefer living to, uh, with each other in like these big like houses and stuff like that. Ooh. But this is very classy. This is like really nicely decorated and stuff mm -hmm. like that. There's fresh flowers and, and stuff. Um, and somebody make me a perception check. Uh, 19. You find this on the table. Hey, what's that? It's a, uh, it appears to be a note. Welcome to Isvir Umik. Greetings, guests. Our bathing pools are fed by the natural mineral Isvir Hot Springs, enhanced with a blend of 11 oils and spices in accordance <laughs> with the ancient Celestian Doravati. Magic. As you bathe, you will feel yourself reconnect with the world soul, easing muscle pain, fatigue, and stress. Immerse yourself in these healing waters and experience the blessing of Matt Celestia. Oh, it's just one tea. Notes. Please shower before entering the hot springs. No bathing suits. <laughs> Hold on. Um... <clears throat> What's up? What was the last line? 
no bathing suits. Yeah, you don't want to come between yourself and the world, soul. This is supposed to be a place to just relax and just like cast off your worldly skin. Out of curiosity, actually, that that is also very something I'm uncomfortable and I'm going to put a pin on that. <laughs> yeah. oh. and We're loop just going to come around. back to world skin. <laughs> we'll yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll loop back skin. to the world skin. Um, does it any say? Does it say anything in the rule book there about dogs getting to be in the spa? Uh, well, it continues on. We cannot provide any samples or the blending instructions for the eleven oils and spices. Those wishing to learn more about joining the Selesnia Conclave may inquire at the front desk. Nope. Ah. Nothing about uh. Nothing about guide animals. Sweet. All right, the dog can swim. Do I have to ask if my if my ritualistic markings are going to cause any trouble in here? Are they? What 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 are your ritualistic markings? They're, the, they're part of my culture. I got them when I was sixteen. I mean, it's a Vidalcan thing. Oh, like, do they come out? Because <laughs> no. if they don't, then just go in the bath, man. Cool. Like if it's part of you, be you, be free, express yourself. Nice. Nude. Nice. Yeah. I, I applaud you for trying to make a Yakuza reference. <laughs> <laughs> no, just tattoos in general. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no issues with tattoos or anything like that. Okay. Always got to check. Mm. Well, we've got time before dinner. Let's go. There are also uh, an assortment of fruits, like dried fruits, nuts. Uh, like more more of that delicious tea if you want to make yourself mm. tea like this is just a stocked room mm. so is this sorry so this is like a, one room with like four beds this is this is this is a room with like uh, <coughs> with like it's it's like a suite in a hotel mm. there's a central room with like couches and windows and all this like really nice stuff and just a nice place to hang out and like a table that's got that pamphlet and nuts and other food on it and then off the sort of separate but not super separate, there's like some sort of semi dividers. There's separate beds that are like piled with beautiful Selesnia insignia linens, mm -hmm. lots of pillows, very soft, high thread count. Right, uh, so this is like one room for all of us, kind of a thing. Well, or? I would assume that Melander would stay in his own room, but this is mm. for the guests. For us three, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would need to look at our expense or uh, guidelines and see if we need to actually pay for this. I was just about to make an investigation roll for yeah. menu costs. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you? What are you guys worried about? Well, we can't, we can't accept g gifts like this oh, as about... part of our, as part of our job. No, Everything no, no. has you're, value. You're friends, and in the Selesnya, friends is almost as good as family. Azorius have neither friends yeah. nor family. I think we have to pay for this. <laughs> Nog's like sitting on a couch, just like chomping on some of the nuts. Like, yeah, guys, just you know, relax a little bit, settle down. Maybe we'll go for a swim. Oh, like this... just... Valencia comes by. Eat some nuts. I'll keep a ledger of the consumption just in case. Oh, thank you. Well, like if that's if that's <coughs> what makes you happy, I don't want to come between you and your happiness. Oh. It's all about relaxation, my dudes. I didn't even think about this. Is that like is this like a bar fridge kind of like scenario? <laughs> Did I just like incur like ten dollars? We'll charge find out. <laughs> Do you have individually yeah. wrapped yeah. cashews? Yeah, it turns out the singular cookie that I unwrapped was thirty dollars. <laughs> No. What about Coke in a glass harmonica? <laughs> this is more of like a, if you're staying here, you guys are being comped because you are Molander's friends and, and, and that is what they do. Mm. Uh, so there is no bill. But if you wanted to stay here as like part of a wellness retreat, there would be probably a hefty fee. This is probably, for a room like this, probably like maybe 10 Zeno a night. We're, we're just hyper vigilant of this sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you're paying that much, whatever nuts and fruit you want are free, right? So I, don't 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 inventory Nog's nuts. Speaking of being comfortable, I have to go trim something. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally, man. Well, I'll meet you in the bath in five minutes. Sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, Nog, kind of just like. Nog's not, like, uncomfortable with his body or anything like that, but he is, like, kind of acutely aware of, like, the fact that he's probably going to have to, sta like, stand on his tippy toes or something like that when we get in there. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's typically not too deep. Yeah, you know? and there's going to be shallower parts for, like, kids and stuff like that. Oh, good. We're not going to drown. I'll stand in the kiddie zone. <laughs> uh, there are some goblin matters <coughs> of the Selesnia, too. Like, not a lot, but mm -hmm. there's a few, okay. so... Very welcome. 
uh, Nog, I guess, prepares to go to the hot springs and takes off Valencia's, like, doggo battle armor. You're in the shower. Valencia feels free! Barf. Yeah, I suppose, like, communal showers it's... is probably a fairly common thing with the Boros Legion. Yeah, true. <clears throat> Enlisted. Yeah. yeah. Another important question, Milan, <laughs> is this one of those shower before entering things? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it's set yeah. In there. Oh, good. We got rules. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most exciting part of the trip for these two. <laughs> they get to read the document. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's hit the tub. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> so, everybody has taken care of whatever personal business that they need to do. You enter the hot springs. You make your way. There's 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 robes, obviously, mm. that you can wear, mm. uh, and you enter the hot springs, and it's uh, you go through the men's door, and it actually leads you to a beautiful sort of separate courtyard that's got uh, fences and hedges around it, and like the hot spring itself is like very natural. It's like uh, a rock. It, it's not just like a hole of mud in the ground, though. It's like lay, lay like lined with like slate tiles and stuff mm. like that. So it's not like super slippery mm. as well. So when you get in, and the war water is hot, but not like ah, but like it's pretty hot. It's a hot bath, hot. Right. And there's steam that rises up, and there's like uh, there's no like there's nothing in the water. The water itself is perfectly clean and perfectly clear, but there's lots of like flowers and and mm. plants and like Silesian icons and it stuff like amazing. that. And it's yeah, it smells incredible. And the water when you touch it does have a slight slick, just a titch of oil onto it, so you're gonna feel real soft when you get out. Mm -hmm. And it and it just yeah, it smells herbal but woody and earthy and it's like a little perfumey but not too perfumey and not overwhelming but present it's it's incredible is that Experience. msg yeah. <laughs> yeah i think it's msg mm, yeah <laughs> smell so this like isn't even one of the public pools for most guests no so is there anyone else in this this is completely empty it's all ours yeah. it's yeah. all yours nog does a <coughs> cannonball you do a cannonball sweet Make a big ol' probably a smaller splash, and then Valencia follows suit and yeah. probably makes a larger splash. Yep. <laughs> Valencia's having a great time. She's swimming laps. Yeah, yeah. doggo paddling. But then after a while, she's like, because it's too hot to yeah. do a lot of yeah. swimming she's a in very here. Very furry dog. And she goes and sits on the edge and shakes herself off a lot, and then yeah. just like goes and sits in the shallower part mm -hmm. and chills out. Uh, yeah, Avenir just like sits and then sinks in, mm. like. Sides hurt, but taking deep breaths. It's really enjoyable. I'm gonna see if I can get one of these installed in my apartment when I retire. You can afford something like that? I'm trying. Uh, yeah. It's good to be home. I mean, <coughs> I mainly stay in like the barracks and whatnot in the Boros Legion area, so I don't really have an apartment or anything like that, but. You're putting something away for your retirement? You're going to rely entirely upon your pension? No, I live uh, paycheck to paycheck. Realistically, I mean, it's it's not unheard of, but a lot of the times there's um, accidents and, and, and whatnot that, that sort of happen in my line of work, so you might as well spend the many no money now, you know? Fair. Uh, perception check on that. For everybody who's not Nog. One. For everybody who is not Nog. <laughs> Uh, uh, seven. Nine? Nine. All of you are like, yeah, I guess you don't see too many old people in the Boros Legion. Huh. I guess they retire early. They must have a very good Yes, that's exactly plan. the conclusion yeah. you come to. That they all retire <laughs> they early. They sure do. <clears throat> they certainly retire. <laughs> <clears throat> this is nice. Yeah. How well kept are these, like, these hot springs They're and whatnot. Immaculate. Okay, so we're not seeing any like world skin in the. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no, there's no, if there's any flaky bits that they're they're coming off of you people, but no. there are no previously established flaky. So bits. like no world skin foam on the. Uh, Nog no. Nog is cool with with a hot spring and whatnot. Ben does not like hot tubs. Oh. <laughs> so like hot springs. Fair. Oh. They, they like squeak me out. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> It's 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 human soup. Yeah, it's consomme. It's yeah, all, right. It's all a question of whether or not you're actually recirculating the water, or if you're adding new water and flushing the old. Yeah, I mean that's that's a big part of it. Well, because these are springs and they bubble up. 
uh, there's there's a circulation system where the water bubbles mm. up and then drains off. And Self refreshing. Yeah. And there's magic. And magic. Like yeah. These are world of wizards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to be the one wizard that knows how to like. Yeah. <laughs> that knows like the skimming spell that gets all of like yeah. the detritus out of the <laughs> <laughs> Level three no, spell. Make, make me a notice spring. check. Ooh. Pardon me. Make me a notice check. Notice check. Uh, Ooh, that's not bad. Um, sorry. Uh, that'd be a 17. You look around, thinking about that world skin that Melander noticed somewhat nervously, and then you see, like, just sort of tucked very discreetly beside the door is, like, a big skimmer. That oh. trip, somebody who works here uses, it's like, like fish skimmer. leaves and, like... Okay. ...bits out of... You said it was magic. Is that the wand over there? <laughs> Well, like, also the the exclusive magical blend of oils and spices is also is also magic. I'm assured by the family it's a magic secret. So huh. Lesnia's secret magic. So, Sage. Mm -hmm. MSG. 100% cedar. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you doing Garlic, here? celery we're, salt. We're, we're in a broth. <laughs> juniper! I'm getting juniper! A lot of people have tried to figure it out. No one has. Do you know what's in it? No. Like, I was in line to figure it out. I was in line to inherit, like, all of this. You were mentioning what... You, well, you said you are in line, and now you said was. Is it yeah, yeah. Like, is something it happened? You, is it because you had a brother that was born before you? Well, I, it's more my falling out with Nonna. Oh. Yeah, it sounds so, like it's a lot worse than you were really leading up. Well, like, if I'm not around, how am I going to run it? If I'm out saving the world like the teaching of Selesnia teaches, how am I going to manage a hot spring? You've been gone for eight days. <laughs> it's more than I, that. I've had a cold for longer than you've been away. <laughs> Let me tell you about the wonders of structural organization and delegation. Also succession planning. <laughs> Knock like puts like one of like the like I assume there's like 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 head cloths and whatnot sort of like oh, yeah. sinks down into the water <laughs> at the mention of this conversation. For a slight fee, we could set you up with a uh, a, a document. None has been managing this place for like I don't know six hundred years, and and I think she was really counting on me to inherit it. But I gotta I gotta give back to Selesnya, man. And by Selesnya, I mean Ravnica, man. I've had a hangover that lasted for eight days. <laughs> Really? Well, we'll see. We'll get there. Well, I, it, it was being refreshed constantly. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Look, first year is a rough time of school. <coughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do some druid magic. What? Anyways, enjoy this. And I'm going to do druid craft. And it's going to be like falling leaves and flower petals. It's like, this makes it even more enjoyable. Well, you're getting leaves in the water. <laughs> They're magical leaves. They, they disappear. disappear. They oh, 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 do they? Okay. The, the yeah. minute I see this happening, I'm mage handing towards the skimmer. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> the magic of Selesnia. Um, Valencia's like running about trying to like like nip the leaves and catch them out of the air and stuff like that. I used a cantrip. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> so you're all having a nice relaxing bath. Yeah. Uh, so um, the rumors of the magical healing properties of these are very true. In fact, if you have any ailments or HP missing, they are restored. Yeah. This is the equivalent of taking a long rest is sitting in this bath. Back I'll to... have to invoice for that as well. And. Uh, <laughs> So you also feel, your skin feels softer, you feel energized, you feel happier, and you all feel a little lighter on your feet. And in practical terms, that means for the next six hours, you'll get a plus one to all checks on decks. Ooh. Yo! Okay. Naga kind of like sniffs himself a little bit, and then like gives himself like a little nibble. He's like, hmm, my compliments to the chef. I've it's a little poached. floral tasting. <laughs> yeah. Magic. Ooh. All of this and more for the Selesnia. Well, I, yeah, once we're done in the hot springs, I'll go and, you you would take a shower after a hot spring, right? You would. To, like, at least cool down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And then, like, fruit and milk. 
That it's, it's, it's provided. Fruit, well, fruit milk is like the, the the way to go after an onsen trip, mm -hmm. isn't it? In the real world, yes. Yes, yeah. in the real world. <laughs> and we'll say there's some sort of delicious melon milk that has suddenly magically appeared in your room while you were in the hot springs. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to remember to pay for this afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> So after after you're all like dried off and feeling better and your ribs don't hurt anymore, Yay. like it's basically like you've been completely healed because you literally have. Um, <laughs> a, there's a polite knock on the door. I open the door, wearing like a four foot thick terry cloth robe. <laughs> <laughs> there is a uh, loxodon here. It's your cousin Kel Melander, ah. and he says. Nana Elga requests your presence in the Great Hall in 15 minutes. Do okay. Melander! Yo, what's up, Cal? Oh, big hugs. Do they hug with, like, their trunk, ah. too? Yeah. Nice. That sounds like a good hug. Nog is not interested, but... Kel looks at you and is like, eh? He, like... <laughs> <laughs> High five and like hops in, like hops in the shower. Huh? Sure. No, so Kel uses his trunk and because uh, his arms wrap around you and his trunk sort of goes over the back of your head yeah. and like nestles into your back. So it's like a three pronged hug. Ooh. It's very secure. Warm. Yes. Yeah, locks down are very large too. Surprisingly soft too. Well, he probably soaks in the hot springs as well. His skin is supple as yours. I give the appropriate number of taps on the back. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I assume we'll just get dressed. Yeah, yeah. like, I, I look through the, the, the <coughs> spa guide and see if I can fit in a mani-pedi at some point. <laughs> Nog just keeps the robe on. That's probably, like, slightly too big for him. Oh, do they have the goldfish? <laughs> for the feet? Yeah. Mm. Maybe. I mean, we can we can go through. Now yeah, that's <laughs> giving back to Selesnia. <laughs> Valencia also has one of the robes on. <laughs> her front legs are through the arms yeah, of the robe. Yeah, the back and the. <laughs> I was just dragging behind her. Yeah. She's like chasing the the top, the 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 belt. Yeah, and, like, we're both wearing circles. robes. <laughs> still, as we go to dinner. Oh, we oh, are. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Uh, is everybody else dressed? I didn't bring any extra clothes. Yeah, no, I, I, I get dressed appropriately. I'm back dressed. in my Selesnya robe. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, do you just head back right to the Great Hall? It's like. Uh, yeah, I suppose yeah. while we wait for everyone to get together, and then if we aren't summoned with like two or three minutes left to go, then we'll head Yeah, I'll, we'll wait till we're all the group and we'll head out together. All right. You enter, you go back out past the baths through the courtyard. It's also it's very beautiful. It's starting to get a little bit dark now. You go to the Great Hall which is a great hall. The, the, you, you enter and the room is 200 feet long. The ceilings are 15 foot high and they are studded with skylights that bathe the room in a rich orange glow from the setting sun. But there's also candles and paper lanterns everywhere and stuff. And the walls are made of the same light wood as the guest room, but the floor is in like sort of a tasteful low pile carpet to dampen sound. Mm. Uh, and there's, because it's impractical to serve uh, 200 people at the same table, there's just lots of table, like round tables there mm. for like 12 people. And uh, it's all family style. And there's about 150 people already here. And there is uh, a buffet along the side that is just groaning with all sorts of food. Can people make me some perception checks, please? 16? 15. Uh, food looks good. Food looks good! Nine. Nine. Food looks good. Food yeah. looks good! This food's all vegetarian. So, mm. yeah. And there's just... All sorts of people around. And Moan, you make me a separate perception check for this kind of feast. Ooh, 24. Oh, this is a very, this is a, this is not a, this is a family dinner plus. Ooh. There are cousins here you don't, that you don't see for days at a time because wow. they live elsewhere in the Verdani. Ooh, the Nana Alga is here. truly irritated with you. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I thought, <coughs> I thought the Gobrins were, were dreading family. Yeah. A family dinner. I just start sweating. Yeah. 
So like, speaking, oh, man. speaking of Nana Elga, yeah, she is coming up to you and she looks very pleased uh -oh. and says, "Hello, Mo. It's so nice to see you again." And gives you a big hug. It's been Hi, hours. Hi, Nana. And it's like she, really good hugs. She hugs you, and she <sighs> looks at uh, Nog and Valencia. Is Valencia still wearing a robe? Yes. You goblins have such delightful practices. I I just assumed that it was better that better for me to wear comfortable clothes than putting on a full set of armor again. Mm, everybody else here is wearing their clothes, but you do as you like. Right, right. Everybody hugs and walks around naked, but a guy puts on a robe and goes to dinner. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> grumble, grumble. At least there's some chicken. Nope. At least there's some chicken. Nope. <laughs> Where's the meat? <laughs> <laughs> oh my dude, yo, we don't like really eat a lot of meat here. It's not as sustainable, you know? Well, and he like reaches into his pockets and pulls out some of the like the hotel room nuts and is like, well, I brought these at least. <laughs> there's other nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, 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 like, there's nuts, nuts there's cheeses, there's breads, ah. there's like 60 different kinds of salad. There's so assume, much kale. I think it was all tofu and hummuses. Salad. Oh yeah, there. Well, there's tofu. There's like there's like the, like the Golgari style soy protein stuff. Mm. <clears throat> I assume the Selesnia are have been working on like fake meat for roughly as long as the Buddhists. <laughs> Dude, you should give it a try when it's prepared by someone who knows what they're doing with non-meat dishes. It tastes amazing, unlike what the people do when they're just trying to seem pretentious with their tofu. Is that? This instance? Yeah, this is great! Oh, okay. And, like, Nog tries some and is still very unimpressed. <laughs> and it's just coated nutritional yeast. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> nutritional yeasts. So, like, Nana. Yeah? I don't want to, you know, like... What's going on, Nana? Oh, Mo. Because, like, I... this, is, this is a lot, like... There's family here I haven't seen, and you know, even before since I left. Mm -hmm. You didn't call them all here for no reason, did you? I called them here because I wanted to see you, my dear. We missed you oh, leaving you the too. family and not contributing to our community and going off and doing your own selfish things. Oh, Mo, yes, here no, no. is someone I would like you to meet. Oh, when you okay. see a big minotaur walk-in who's wearing Selesnian robes and this minotaur will be played by Ben. Oh. Uh, so <clears throat> this is uh, this is Mo! This is Bovril! <laughs> uh, hi hi Bovril! He has just joined our family! I'm sure you two will get along swimmingly. And she sort of goes off to talk to other cousins and stuff like that. Hi, hi, I'm... hi, I'm Favril. Oh, what's up? I'm Molander. It's very nice to meet you. Yeah, no, it's a pleasure. Look at all your little cute friends. Are you an adventurer? I, well, I'm, I'm just trying to give back to like Selesnia, you know, like the way the teachings talk. Praise Matt. Praise Matt. Praise yeah. Matt. So, like, how long you've been around? Uh, well, I actually just joined the Conclave. Okay. Uh, um, Welcome. You know, I'm so happy. Well, you know, my... The my, tree grows another brute. My family mm -hmm. has been part of the Boros for so long, and mm -hmm. they just they just don't understand what it's like to want to be part of the world, world tree and, and give back to people. And just the thought of... The thought of even hurting someone <laughs> just makes me... So who uncomfortable? I I get that. I totally get that. And the teachings definitely talk about, you know, peace and helping out a Ravnica. But it is important to know and to steal your heart that sometimes you have to make tough choices to protect Ravnica and the tree so and I, each other. Yeah, I... You just... I'm just... Why would you ever want to leave the Selesnia and go out and adventure? Don't you... Why oh, wouldn't no. you just stay here forever? Oh, you know, no. you're, you're, na you're Nana? No, no, did no. Nana put no, you no. up for this? Put me up for... Oh, no, I just think you two would get along and Mo. If you want to go out into the world, I feel that maybe the a little romance might keep you at home. Oh, I Nona. Just, I just can't get a read on your type, Mo. Oh, Nona. You seem very nice, and I'm looking forward to really getting to know you. 
But Wait. I need you to understand that Ravnica has called to me, and I need to heed her call, and I need to spread the roots of Selesnya outside of here. But but Ravnica calls to me too. I I can be I can be cool. We all give back to Ravnica in our own ways. But I want to give back in my way to you. I understand. I give you a big hug. And she I like walk, she and hugs you away. back and like it's like it's a little more like do not please don't go. Yeah. Uh, what are you two doing while uh, this is oh, while this is happening? What are Avenir and Enor doing while this is happening? Uh, Hope I played her right. <coughs> him, but whatever. Oh. Uh, uh, it's a very handsome Minotaur over there. Real tall, drinking beef juice. Uh, so Nona, uh, upon seeing. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Avenir. What are what are you up to? I suppose just hanging out in a corner, like, you know, you're at a conference, you don't know anyone, you've hit the buffet and are just like standing at a table. Mm. You got something to do, and uh... <laughs> right, Would... you're like, yep, sure is. Look engaged. Yep. Legitimately, I am just trying as many th different things as I can and taking copious notes. All right, so Enor is working his way down the buffet table while all this is going on. Nog is uh, sampling uh, tofu dishes, which he finds substandard. Yes. Uh, Valencia is having a great time. There's like 50 children playing with her. Ooh. Somebody has found a ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Valencia is happy as hell. Yeah. Uh, and you are sitting alone at a table uh, by yourself because you don't know how to talk to people been there yep. understand okay i try and escape the minotaur you successfully escape the minotaur only to run once again into nonna and she goes oh molanda Hi, i've nonna. got someone for you to meet <clears throat> this... oh i love making new friends yes yes this is orphagos he's uh, they they have uh, they're very unique they're considering leaving the Simic Combine and coming to the Conclave. Oh. I, perhaps you two will be compatible. Orthogos, please. Hi, welcome. Hello, we are Orthogos. <laughs> you should do... What does Orthogos look like? Orthogos is a translucent blue ooze. Yeah, the slime. Yeah, uh, Orthogos helpfully... Uh, generates a humanoid shape Can you, to hug with. Are you solid enough to hug? Absolutely. Bring her in. Oh, yeah. Mm, what nice. kind of texture are you? Uh, you know those jelly sticky hands that you could yeah. like... <laughs> Firm, oily, and sticky, but no residue afterwards. Oh, good! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you, you don't have, like, bits of hair and <laughs> stuff on you, do you? There is some, like, hair and to try to stuck to the lower parts yeah, of Yeah, it's like, I guess I de-lint your, your wow. sleeves. <laughs> I haven't met Mooney Ooze before. This is wonderful. Oh, yeah. How's it going? I'm brand new here. This is great. Yeah, I love it here. Everyone is smoking, by the way. Hey, you're not so bad yourself. So... Thank you? Man, I gotta tell ya. <laughs> the last week, best week of my life. Absolutely. So, uh, I hear you haven't been around much, but don't worry, I'll catch you up on what's going on here. O okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all of your cousins? Mm. Amazing. But... <laughs> <laughs> and that hot spring. Oh. I had some problems when I showed up, I'm not going to lie to you, but you know, it really worked out all the kinks, healed up some stuff that I was worried about. Yeah. And this food. Wow. Well, I hope you wow. enjoy your stay and know that Celestia will always welcome you for as long as you want to be here. Absolutely. And hey, uh... I, have, you, have you seen the pamphlets on joining? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I saw one, picked it up on the, uh, on the street outside. Yeah, signed right up. Oh, great! Mm -hmm. Welcome. I'll, 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 I'll keep in mind the call thing. Yeah, totally, totally. You know, well, tonight, enjoy. later, later, maybe. And and know that that the Celestia are always welcoming and <laughs> oh, always hell yeah, they welcoming. Are. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I just engaged with the slime. In the background, you can hear like Bobro like look, like crying out, being like, "Has anyone seen Mo? Mo? <laughs> Poor Bobro." Uh, he'll be fine. He'll find he'll find somebody else who's equally clingy. Uh, you disengage from Orthogos, 
uh, who goes on to find somebody else who might be into a new and exciting encounter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, and you go to look for your compatriots. Uh, what is what is Nog doing now? Uh, Nog is uh, trying to see how many. Uh, pe he's basically playing a chubby bunny with like tofu cubes with Valencia, <laughs> and like we're going back and forth, seeing how we're. I probably, probably, but it's like I don't. I don't think we say chubby bunny. We say like um, engorged crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Several. Uh, I would say actually, two children yeah. uh, have have seen this game and are they are now asking you to teach them how to play engorged crisis, and they think it's great. There are no parents in sight. No one's going to yell at you for this one. Hell yeah. So, yeah. You're having a... So, still having a great time? Oh, yeah. No, no, Nog's making his own enjoyment, despite the fact that this is not really necessarily his scene. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, He's basically I was sitting born at the kids' on table. a pirate ship. <laughs> Enor, what are you doing? Enor is still working on the food. Cool. Uh, Avenir, while mm -hmm. this is happening, a shy member of the Selesnian Conclave who's like... I don't know, like a, a human woman in her, like, 30s, has sat down. Hmm. She gives you a nod. Hi. Hello. And then she goes and pulls out a book. And, and she says, I, I, I am a member of the Conclave, but I'm actually not one for big groups. Is it okay if I sit here? Please. Cool. This is the This is the chill corner. Thank you. And you reach an understanding. <laughs> so, I was waiting for like the shins or something to start playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and a great friendship was born. Okay. You have to listen to this new so song, it'll change your life. Yeah, <laughs> like the postal service starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the crowd, I try and find Nona just to be like, okay, this has to be enough. Oh, oh, Hi. Landa. Hi, Nona. Nona. Is um, what did you like Orthogos? They they seem very friendly, um, and I'm sure they'll be very happy here. They seem certainly they seem unique. Um, now Molanda, this is uh, Zal uh, Zaludini, I and her brother Nesbedin. Oh, they're new also friends. interested in joining the Conclave. Why don't you have a talk with them? I, and then I'm Nana sure disappears. I, I, and then Hi, yours a and I'll be Nesbedin, who's just standing there behind her. Hello, like this. love, bring it in here. Uh, hi, what are oh. your names again? Mm. Oh, I'm I'm Zalun Zalundi. And hi. hi, I'm Nesbedin. I'm her brother. Mm. Just you keep it in here. Oh, that's that's you're quite the specimen. I I've been I've, since I got out. I've been like lots of exercise, lots of adventure. Yeah. But it was good to soak and, like, you know, relax. And... Oh, yeah, I can feel the tension right back there. And as That's I say that, tough. I'm moving my left hand slowly yeah. down, just down and down yeah. and down. Yeah, oh, there, yeah. Yep, right there. Okay, oh. oh. Mm, yeah, no, no, my. Hi. You seem like you could spend a bit more time in the baths, I think. I know, I've been gone for, like, eight days, and I could feel every one of those days i need to i need to soak like three more times i absolutely believe that well i mean maybe you should uh, call me up sometime next time you're gonna go in we could have a nice little chat and if you're into a nut afterwards well you can find me there too sure and and your brother is <sighs> oh don't worry about him he's just here to have a good time isn't that right nesbin and you two, you two, how long have you been members? Well, we're just joining up right now, you see. Oh, we welcome. Need, we need someone to show us the ropes around here, and by God, you look like the kind of person who just knows everything about oh, the Selesnia. I do, and I'd love to show your way around, but I have, I have found purpose in the broader Selesnian goal of, of giving back to Ravnica, and like, I get it, and I wish I could show you around, and I'd do a great job of showing you around, but, like, I'm not going to be here too much longer. I got, I've, got, I've got work to do. Oh, I'll have to make it quick, then. Maybe later tonight we can meet up for that bath and then maybe play a game of some engorged crisis. Oh, that's <laughs> that so hot right now. Oh, go for food! I'm going to You would not believe how much I can fit in my mouth. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's me smirking, not not Nesbeth. Who's this thing? 
Nana! Mm. Nana! <laughs> Toodles. Yeah. I go find Nana. No, no, we need to talk. Mo. Mo. Keep an eye on those two. And then she goes back off. Welcome back. <sighs> this is hard. So I have two things. One, I'll probably call all of them before the night's done. <laughs> After the dinner party. That's a separate thing. <laughs> okay. The Celestian values. But I will try and find a part some point to have a heart to heart with Nonna during the night if she if she accommodates it. Your Nonna is actually going over to Avenir right now. Oh. Oh. And she <clears throat> goes she first she stops and sit and talks to the girl at the desk and says, Hello Lubla. I'm not very good at coming up with names on the fly. How how are you? Uh, how are you? Because you've got a more kindly voice. How are you, Lubla? And Lubla goes, eh says I'm so glad that you came out to see your cousin Molander. I know you don't like big parties. Thank you. And they give a little hug. And then, mm. Anyhow, and she goes over to you and she goes, Avenir. Director. Mm, yes. Ah, you look your, you look like you're more observant than you let on. I wasn't aware I was concealing it, but mm. yes. And did you see those two humans that Mo was talking to? Uh, I did, yes. They seem to be family. Mm, you keep an eye on them. Mm -hmm. We here in the Selesnia Conclave obviously welcome all who would join our guild, but I want to give Mo the chance to contribute to our community. Just let me know if I need to call the votaries, or if you could take care of it, or Molanda. And then she disappears off. <laughs> in sight. Invested. In yeah. sight. <laughs> in sight. <laughs> uh... 18? No, uh, 15. 15. What the hell uh, does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Nona Elga has scuttled off. Mm -hmm. uh, but luckily, you do have Lubla here. Right. Uh, who's reading her book. And she doesn't look up and she says, oh, yes. Uh, Nana believes that when you help, that help begins with the community. So I think if Nana is asking you to do something, she's asking you to contribute in some way to the community so she can do something for Molander. I understand that he left and that made her very angry, but he also has something important that she needs to be, that needs to be signed. And I don't think she's going to do it until he does something to help out the family. And if I was you, I'd look at those two because they look suspicious as hell. Fair. How long have they been here for? They just came by tonight, because this is also uh, a welcoming, this is also if you're interested in joining, you may as well come out to a family dinner thing. So there's a bunch of people here who don't belong in the Conclave, and of course we do have votaries and security on site, but it makes people nervous when, there's, when they go to check something out, and there's a lot of armed guards hanging around. And this is one of the more public-facing areas of the Verdani, so we typically don't have too many of them. Good to know. I'll, thanks for the insight. I keep an eye on, on those two. Hmm. Should I roll anything? Um, roll me a perception check. All right. Uh, 20. Ooh. Uh, they make a quick orbit of the room. They make sure that nobody's watching and they slip out the front door. I try to catch Enor's eye. I'm also, also going to make my way over to Avenir. You're like, Avenir? Yes, everyone is so thirsty. Oh. There, there's like, yeah, that sounds awful. There's some taps next to the uh, next to the buffet. You can pour yourself. So those two that you were talking to earlier? Yeah. Like, I don't like them. The sister, super into me. The brother, quieter also super into me but like they're siblings right well this is going on uh you see nog and valencia walking over both still with like a mouthful of like tofu cubes and whatnot they're like hey guys this place is great let's go on the hill i'm glad you're having a good time friends this I'm is hard i'm getting like a lot of pressure from my nunna to settle down and like i get it i get it <sighs> yeah i I was lucky. My older brother has three kids, so that kind of took a lot of pressure off. But uh, those two, 
very suspicious. Whoa, what do you mean by suspicious? They behave in an inappropriate way that has alarmed multiple members of your family. What? I'm going to go follow them. Uh, is anybody else going to go with them? Yo, uh, totally. Yeah, then I was like, <laughs> and like a wad. Uh, <laughs> Just like a uh, cylinder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was like one like poking out of his nose and it like sloops back. <laughs> like the, the sinuses comes out in the same thing like with Valencia. Valencia does like bat. Is it like, just like, does it have the Batman imprint of your teeth? Yeah. <laughs> if I was that, just like, ah, oh, yeah, all right, I'm in. Espionage. All right, well. Uh, five children say, bye, Nog, <laughs> as you leave. Bye, kids. And remember, stay in school. Winners don't do, what was, is there, drugs. <laughs> all right, so you go into the courtyard. Yeah. Uh, it is empty. Interesting. There's the main spa, and then there's mm -hmm. the hot springs building. Where do they keep the money? Probably the spa. Well, Either that or they're going to the hot springs building. They would be after the 11 herbs and spices. They're after our secret recipe of herbs and oils, spices? I'm, I'm... I'm going to order KFC after this stupid thing. <laughs> I'm so upset at this. I know, you, you, you walk past it and you're like, hey, that smells good. And then yeah. you eat and it. And then you and eat it and you go, you're like, I've made a terrible I mistake. I hate everything. Yeah. <laughs> but I know I'm going to do it now. KFC is Boros colors. Uh, actually, I, I look around. Is there any evidence as to where they've gone? No. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's go check out the spa building, or the baths. The sorry. baths? All right. Yes. So you go into the bathroom, make me uh, the, or if you go into the bath building, mm -hmm. doors open because it's not locked. Right. Look around. Make me a perception check. Everybody make yeah. me a perception check. Whoops. Seven. Seems one. Seven. Seven? Seven. Eighteen. All right. You uh, notice that this is a, a building. <laughs> Like, oh, hot springs! We were just there. But you, because maybe you you you've been here before, you're like, wait a minute. And there, uh, there's the entrance to the men's baths and the women's baths, and then just a little discreet door off to the side, marked private, that yeah. is slightly ajar. Yeah. That should not be. Yo, why is that door open? That's not right. Yo, follow me. And I'm I'm just like, going to slowly push it open. Like, so it leads directly down to a flight of stairs that's oh. completely dark. But who here here has dark vision? Yo. Yo. All right. So you, I'm going to say that all of you can navigate down these stairs fine in the dark. And Avenir, if you go last and hold on to somebody's shoulder, you'll be fine. Okay. okay. Yeah. What the? I'll cast the light on my staff. Actually, oh, do you want to do that then? Well, we, we can be secret. Yeah, I was going to say, do, do, do we want to be seen here, or do we need to... Let's just, well, let's give it a second, just in case. Because this door's yeah. not supposed to be open, right? Yeah, can we hear anything down the, down the stairs? No. Maybe? Wait, make me a, make me a perception check. 20. Uh-oh. Oh, you definitely hear something coming from down Ten. the stairs very quietly, though. Uh, that's a one. You don't hear anything. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you still have some tofu in your ear from this chubby bunny. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, it's like something a, like a human something? Like a, like a rustling noise. I'm going to try to stealthily make my way down the stairs. Mm. No, no light yet, but I'm going to see if I can feel my way down the stairs in the dark. Do we okay. communicate this? Ben, can you toss me PHP? Yeah. Make yourself... Uh, uh, stealth check. Wait. This is the plus two to any dex related check, right? Oh, yeah. Plus one? Yeah. Yeah. Plus one? Well, plus one to a dex check. I can cast a sneaky 20. stealth, too. Twenty? Uh, you go down silent as a cat. Unlike I'm stealing from the supply closet at work. <laughs> <laughs> Done. 
All right, Anybody noticing else? this, I'm going to cast Passive a Trace on the group, too. Oh, well, then everybody passes silently as a yeah. cat. Nice. But Avenir does it with more style. Yeah, well, I can do it on... Yeah, yeah, you are even better than the rest you, of us. You parkour your ass But a reminder, this, this actually continues shadows and silence upon us. We effectively oh. have a plus 10 dexterity bonus for stealth checks. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so we could still roll if you'd like. Eh, I mean, if you got that. So you go down. Uh, it is very dark in here, so, but since... Everybody except Avenir has dark vision, and your vision will start to adjust in the next minute or so. Uh, this is a small, sort of like, not really basement, but downstairs storage closet sort of room. It's got low ceilings. They're maybe seven feet, uh, like a loxodon couldn't get down here. Um, and uh, the room is not super big. It's like maybe like 20 by 15 and it is just piled with boxes and lined with shelves that hold sheets and robes and pillowcases and towels and cleaning supplies. This is the storeroom right. for this. And, but there is, uh, uh, there are some, there are some signs of disturbance. There's some knocked over cleaning bottles and some boxes that have been opened. And on the other end is, uh, on the other side of the room is another door that is open. And in front of the door, you see a crumpled figure. I move over to the figure. The crumpled figure is a votary, which is a Selesnian guard. She appears to be asleep and unconscious. But she's like, not like, meh. She's mm -hmm. like, meh. Like magical sleep? Yes. What, what <coughs> door is this? This is, this is a door to a separate room inside the storage room. Would I know what that door is? Yes. This is the room where they keep the uh, the secret ingredients for the oh. 11 oils and spices. Uh, does the votary have a weapon? The votary has a staff that is not be like a big tall staff that is not I, being used. Is laying I on the floor I'm beside her. Any armor. Yeah, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I quietly pick up the staff. All right. Uh, this is the room where we keep the secret spices and oils. Do they have like an offhand weapon, <laughs> like a no. dagger? They have a shield. Well, I pick up the shield. Lander, is there any other way out of this room? There is not. No. I, I will cast Arcane Lock on the exit. Okay, oh. now there's definitely no other way out of the room. Oh. How, how does Arcane Lock work? Ah, uh, let me grab So this the is the sheet. other door, not the one that's there. Okay. This is the door to the, this is the, the, pri the door marked private. I'm not <laughs> trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Um, I don't have on my paper, sorry. One Arcane lock is uh, you touch a closed door, window, gate, chest, or other entryway, and it becomes locked for the duration. You and creatures you designate when you cast the spell can open the object normally. You can also set a password that, when spoken within five feet, suppresses the spell for one minute. Otherwise, it is impassable until the lock is bro broken or the spell is dispelled or suppressed. What's the pa what's the password, Enor? Sausage. Just be you. Just be you. Okay, that's the password. Okay. All right, <clears throat> so the door, the door to the storeroom is like also slightly ajar, but not totally ajar. Mm -hmm. And you can hear now much more clearly. You can hear. What the, what, there's no instructions anywhere. What, the, what are we supposed to gra just grab some of everything? I guess I, I. Ah, this is not going as well as I thought it would. Oh Christ! Right. Is, it, is it totally dark in here? It's totally dark by human standards. Yes. But and then. Does anybody want to like peek inside? Yes. Yeah, well, I'm also curious if I recognize that voice. Uh, I get a 20. Uh, that is Nesbedden. No, she was so nice. He. He was so nice. Uh, oh, that was the scowly one. Yeah. Mm. Should I don't like? Should you, we just bust in and be like, I wait, mean, what's... the votary didn't nah. didn't fall over on her own. Yeah. All right, maybe maybe we could do some some magic here. Should we just knock them out? Uh, I don't know. Either yeah. Light. Here, uh, let's coordinate. I can entangle them. I'll summon the roots of the world tree. Do you have something you could follow that up with? <laughs> well, I could stop them. That's about it. I could ensnare them with further vines. We could double double ensnare. I like that. They won't go anywhere. Cool. Okay. Let's light it up. Okay. Chunk. Yeah. All right. Let me cast ensnare. Everybody, roll me some initiative. Okay. All right. Me... This is gonna be a rough fight. <laughs> <laughs> Where to 
bathroom. <laughs> oh, that's a tilt. You couldn't just let me have it, could you? Uh, Ian, Avenir, what's your Three? initiative? 19. It was 19. a 16. Oh, was it? Oh. Nine. Nine for Enor? Uh, 11. 11 for Nog. 10. 10 for Melander. And Ten. what is Valencia's initiative? 21. 21. All right. Uh, so now that you've rolled some initiative and I've given Heather a chance, all right. Uh, I need to pull up a web page and add you all to the initiative tracker. Ooh. So I have a shield. I'm proficient with shields. So nice. I'm like, I can guard and dodge things, but I'm not going to be doing a lot of damage. Can you <laughs> shield rush? Well, That's, Valencia can yeah. bite. Yeah, no, Valencia, she, I mean, she's at peak performance. Mm. But yeah, I have nothing to fight with. All right. What do so shields add plus two to your AC? I believe that traditionally, yes. I don't so know fifth ed too well. Well, small shield was plus one, large shield plus two, but that was ten years ago. So you have, I can figure it out. It's all good. So so you so you so you bust open the door and you cast a light spell. Mm -hmm. Well, you see Zalotany and Nesbeden, mm -hmm. uh, yes, and they two. are they have like a little like tiny portable light spell. Uh, mm. uh, on like the end of a stick, and they are, they're like, Bleh! and they are in the process of just jamming random bundles of herbs and like uh, decanting oil into dis different containers, mm. and they're like, ah, piss. Hello, and love. So oh. <laughs> didn't expect to see you here so soon. The buffet's still open. Why oh, are you so here for dessert? I'll have you know I once wanted to date the leader of our, my school's fencing team. Freeze! Oh. We're the Spices Police, and it's a goblin with a shield and a bathrobe. Oh, <laughs> like, trying to look menacing. So, Zelotony, uh won our initiative. So, uh -oh. so she's going to be like... We don't get our surprise attack when we kick open the door? Wait. I guess we kick open the door and the initiative is rolling we weren't, and they were faster? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Did, so did you put 21 for Valencia? Uh, I can't change the initiative because uh, I'm using an iPad right now. Ah, okay. Uh, so I think the initiative is stuck with uh, with the dummy numbers I put in because Heather was supposed to uh, Heather updated it and it did not uh, resync to my version of the initiative tracker. So we'll That's just right. go She's in. Stepped away. In the order no. it's in. That's fine. Uh, so Zalotny goes, ah, oh, piss. Well. I guess we're doing this. And she goes, We are Zalotany and Nesbeden, crime extraordinaire, and we are here to steal the secret of the 11 oils and spices. You meddling Selesnians won't get in our way. And she pulls a whip out from her robes and she Hell goes, yeah. I'm stoked for Team Rocket right here. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody made me a perception check. Or a remember, or an insight, or uh, some kind of using ooh, your brain role. History? History. 21. These people seem awfully familiar. 26. The woman has long hair, and the man has, like, a little cropped beard. Mm. What else? What? Wait, sorry. Can... The woman has long hair, and the man has a little cropped facial hair. Is it the two people from the bar? It's the two people from the alley. Oh! oh, the ones who stole your bus pass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh you God. two again? Yeah, I just like. I it, mean, it's cool that you guys are moving up in the world. You went from petty theft to potentially plan larceny. <sighs> bah! And then so she looks at you and she and she rolls to hit you with her whip. Ooh, and she rolls a nineteen. What's your, what's, so your AC is zero right no. now? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, if, so I'm not wearing armor anymore, so on top of my, uh, just like, dexterity modifier in the shield, it would be 14. 14, well, so that's a hit. So she is going to do, 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 I mean, whips aren't very strong. They're, I more, mainly gave her this because I thought it was exciting. Heck yeah. Uh, uh, she is going to deal four slashing damage to wow. you. Wow. Which? Pa! You think that hurts? I've been to a Rakdos party. Uh, and Avenir, it's your go. Uh, I'm going to try to disarm her. Okay. Oh. I 
once knew how this worked, which is the most dangerous kind of rule to know. <laughs> how about Valencia gets to go while Avenir is going? Sure, mm -hmm. yeah, if there's any way to fix it on the initiative track. Oh, that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, so, all right, Valencia is going to bork, 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 and, and hop over to, uh, I guess, uh, ne Nesbedin? Nesbedin. Yeah, and uh, going to try and chomp on him. Maybe on an arm that's holding a bag? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he, they're also not wearing armor because they didn't want to look suspicious. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. So. Chomp away, my dog. Uh, 17. That's definitely a hit. Uh, roll me some damage. Uh, I'm only missing my couch run, apparently, for some reason. Uh, that will be five damage. He takes five damage. He goes, ah! I didn't know there'd be Boros dogs here. Gah! Bork, bork. All right. Uh, let's see. Avenir, are you ready to go? Uh, yes, apparently disarming is now a maneuver that can only be used by fighters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use insightful fighting mm -hmm. as a bonus action. I'll roll insight versus deception. Mm -hmm. uh, who are you targeting? Uh, I guess Zelotny. The if she's me? the one who's armed right now. Yeah, uh, well, Nesben just hasn't had a chance to pull out his weapon. But yes, so uh, against Zelotny. What am I rolling to check against you? Uh, deception. The target number is 11. Uh, she does not make her roll. Okay. Uh, then I get bonus damage if I hit. All right. But this will be an unarmed? Uh, well, I've got the quarterstaff. Okay, you've got the quarterstaff. Excellent. Bonk! Get bonked. 13. 13? That's a hit against an, unarm an unarmored opponent. Alrighty. Uh, seven damage? Oof. She takes seven damage and is like, Ugh. All right. Uh, all right. I, I suppose I can't. It'd be really cool to do like a thing where I'd be like, hit her and then throw the weapon to uh, Nog, but that seems abusive in the mm. mechanics. Mm, a little bit. I, I don't think you could do that as a free action. Probably not. But I'd let you do that instead of taking your turn. Meanwhile, it's Enor's turn. Going to cast Ensnaring Strike and then attempt to hit them. Uh, them being Nesbedden. Nesbedden, all right. Mm. Right now he has a dog chomping his arm. Uh, 18 plus 6 means that that's a 24. You definitely hit him. Cool, that's going to do... Uh, five Oof. damage. Nesbedden takes five damage. And, uh, Is he ensnared? They are ensnared, ah! which means that uh, at the uh, start of each of their turns, until they work their way out, they'll take 1d6 of piercing damage. Oh my goodness. Did, now, how do they work their way out? Uh, creature restrained by the vines. Da, da, da. Strength check against my save DC. What's so your save 14. DC? Uh, okay, cool. I can do that. Uh, I make my strength check. What is your save DC? 14 or? 14. 14. I don't make my strength text. Great. So I take 1d6. Yep. Roll me some damage. That'll be four. Oof, my uh, goodness. Ooh. Woof. Ne Nesbedden struggles, but it hurts himself in the process and cannot make an action this turn, correct? Hurt himself in his confusion. All right, Nog, it's your turn. Uh, okay, Nog's gonna, <laughs> I guess for the best, the best part of it, run over and... Oh, Hit him with the shield? I mean, the shield isn't a weapon. <laughs> It'd mm. be the same as making an unarmed attack, really. Uh, so, Nog, I guess, will try and... Um... Well, he's... Okay, so they so were they shoving the stuff into, like, their... They've got some bags that they have secreted out that basically say criminal activities, essentially. <laughs> Can right? I steal the bags from them? Yeah, or to... there's a variety of other things in here. There's big sheaves of dried herbs. There's, like, pots of oil. I would like to take one of the pots of oil off and try and douse the two. Please do not waste the Celestia's oils and spices. And like on them. Uh, you can pick one or the other. Uh, can I completely douse Zaldouni in oil? Uh, only, uh, in Zlodny? Only if you also douse Avenir, because he is in combat with her. What about, and nobody's nearby Nesbed, Nesbedden? Uh, your dog is near Nesbedden. She will forgive me for this. <laughs> Nesbeton's also already restrained, though. Oh, really? All yeah. right, fine. Zeldirni, you're getting oily today, Cameron. <laughs> Good thing we're very close to a bath. I douse her. I grab one of the, the canisters and attempt to douse her in oil. All right, make me a dex check for that. Okay. 
to like fling off the lid and like splash. Uh, that would be a 21. A 21. You do a fantastic job of dousing Zolotony and uh, Avenir in oil. Okay. Uh, they will take a minus three to all dex checks because they are very oily from now on. And boy, the room freaking reeks like sandalwood. It is yeah. overpowering. In the, uh, is it, this like walking past a lush? <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like having a lush directed uh, injected directly into your sinuses. It smells like a bath bomb exploded inside your brain. I guess part of the goal that I was going for was like also to have like the the, the ground be a little bit like mm. oily. So oh, you're right. The like ground tripping. should be oily. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, anybody trying to move in and out of this not very big room, uh, it's maybe like. Uh, six by six, uh, if anywhere in the splash zone is going to have to make is going to have to make me a dex check not to fall on their bums. Yeah, all right, I'm helping. All right, Melander, go ahead. Like, no, that's a family secret recipe. Yeah, well, it's gonna get stolen from you. and gonna be not so secret if these two get away. <gasps> all right, um, I'm going to have to change my plan now because my plan involved moving over the oil. Uh, I'm going to cast Thorn Whip. Which okay. is a cantrip. Okay. So I create a long vine-like whip covered in thorns that lashes out at my hand. So the one that's not currently entangled. Right, it's the Laudany, the oily one. So I'm not going to hit Laudany. I'm instead going to hit... Oh no, there's the oily one and there's the entangled one. The one that's not entangled. I'm okay, going to hit the... the oily one with the thorns. <clears throat> okay. So I just create it. Uh, and now I make a melee spell attack against the target. Okay. Using your spell casting Using modifier. Using spell casting what modifier. You... Which is my wisdom... So it'd be a 14? That's going to be a hit on an unarmored opponent. So roll me some damage. Okay, the spell's damage increases, so it's 1d6 plus my spell modifier, which is 5. Uh, and if the creature is larger or smaller, I can pull them towards me. So what I'm hoping to do now with the pull is make them slip on the oil. Uh, you are definitely going to make her, if you pull her towards you, her feet are going to go out from underneath you, underneath her, and she's going to fall right on her butt. Woo! Prone. Uh, so I'm going to say that she's going to take 1d4, 1d4 of falling damage All right. because she's going to slip in a very inelegant and unexpected way. She's nice. going to take three points of falling damage, and now she is extremely injured and on the ground, but she's also going to go bleh! Uh, so, uh, Avenir, make me a dodge spell? check to make sure you don't get it wiped out D6. too because you're okay. also standing in a patch uh, of oil. Uh, uh, I guess bonus, right? acrobatics? Or acrobatics. acrobatics. Or a dex save? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. Make me a dex save. Four. So you get minus two. Uh... That would be 19. Uh, you do not get knocked over. <laughs> Excellent. It's like that Akira soundtrack song. Uh, oh. Zolotony is down on the ground, but she's not quite down yet. And I would say that uh, she uh, uh, she could use... She, she's going to try to whip um, probably Melander what? from the ground. Okay. <laughs> Whatcha? No. Um, and she's gonna deal you three points of damage. Jesus. From she's gonna prone. get you right on the ankle. She's gonna get you right on the ankle. I accept. I I have been I have been whipped. Uh, but she is uh she is she's looking terrible. Avenir, it's your go. Uh, so Nasreddin is restrained. Yes. Zolodny is prone but still fighting. Yes. Or trying to at least. Sort of slipping around in oil. Uh. They, I rolled a net. I wasn't gonna give her a, give her that attack, but she got a natural twenty. So I was like, mm. yeah, damage. no fair. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just gonna good. give her a little bonk. Yeah, give her a bonk. All right, give her a bonk. She's prone. She's not wearing armor. Coup de gras. Fifteen. You yeah. definitely hit her. Or no, seventeen. Coup uh, de gras. What's just the minimum? Like, what's the minimum damage on a quarter staff? Uh, well, it'll be it. um. Three. Then you will knock her out. Okay. Right. So, so you bonk her and she goes, buh. And then Nesbeton goes, ah, it's a lot of Tripping my mm. friends. Nay. I say nay thee. Uh, go ahead, Enor. And I or guess... no, I'm sorry. It's, I guess it's technically supposed to be Val Valencia's go because I let her go first yes. to kill time. So Valencia, what do you want to do? I mean, she's going to, now she's going to bite this dude again. Like I imagine she, this, right. this would be like a continuation of her like clamping down. Yeah. Bite and mm -hmm. shake. Yeah, give another bite. Uh oh. Uh, no, that'd be a seven. No, uh, she misses in yeah. all the excitement. Go yeah. ahead, Enor. Give her a shocking. Give him a shocking grasp now. Okay. Don't tase me, bro. That's a seventeen plus six is twenty-three. Roll me some damage. That will be on the. Eight. 
you forget how, what dice to use. Ooh, a D8. Oh. That's a nifty one. I haven't used that. There we go. Three. Three? Points of shocking damage. Has been does not make his strength check to get out of your vines. Ooh. Roll me some damage for that. Five. Oh, God. Nesbedden looks very hurt and is restrained. Nog, it is your turn. Nog does the hero punch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's Just a hero punch. Right in the nose. Yeah. It's a it's a punch. Is thing. it like the flying Superman, or is it the boop? It's it's just a punch to the face. Oh, okay. I'm a hero. I'm punching him. <laughs> Air I, thought this was a like hero a, punch. I thought this was like a thing. No. Okay. <laughs> This is like the Superman punch. No, uh, well, hold on. No, I only get a plus five, so nine. Nine is not going to hit his AC. So what I'm going to say you try to do is so do something fancy. I was and like, sort of like hero punch, and, and like he's too high up. His yeah. face is too high up, and you miss. Okay, I was going to. I just enough. figured he was like he's going to be running and punch and then like slide like fast on but, the but ground. But thematically appropriately, Melander, it is your go. Nesbeden yeah. is restrained. He is easy yeah. pickings. Surrender. Never! Well, fine then, and I'll use the thorn whip and just okay. like hit him. Uh, roll, me set, roll, me, uh, roll me a roll. Uh, I get a 16. You definitely hit him. Roll me some damage. I uh, get a 5. That is enough to actually knock him unconscious, so now he's prone in this restraint spell. It didn't spell. have to be this way. All right, friends. You're in top secret Selesnia area. Do you mind if I hold the area while you go get some guards? I mean, the door is locked, but yeah, sure, we'll get him. Yeah, thank you. Also, I'm like a little bit uncomfortable you being in here, and I'm also worried about Nog wrecking more ingredient stuff. So I'll hold this down and you go get help. For the, the staff. Oh. To... I don't know. They're unconscious. Yeah. yeah. All right, Nog... Nog... <laughs> That Ooh. pops up on Valencia, and so it's like, Ooh. like, Valencia holds strong, and he, like, pull, like, fairies, like, gondola style, like, skids across, <laughs> like, the, the, oil. the oil floor to get out, and then, like, oh, starts wa hopping up the stairs. All right, oh, what a mess. Um, and the password was... Just be you? The password was literally, you guys can leave at any time. That's what I was telling you. It's only these assholes who can't get out. That's an extremely long and password. inefficient password. Okay, I've been trying to tell you guys the whole time <laughs> that all you need you to do just, is just, just be, be yourselves. And it's literally you can just these assholes who can't, can't go leave. back. It worked! Hey, the <laughs> door opens! The door opens and you immediately see Nona Elga and two votaries. And she goes, oh, could you just let me down? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and they make their, and uh, she flicks on the overhead light switch yeah. and the lights come on. Yo, Nona. Oh, That brother and sister combo you totally tried to like set me up with. And oh, I just wanted you to look them over. Oh, they were bad people. Look, they were trying to steal our secret blend of oils and spices. Oh, oh well, that's... Oh, that's the fourth time this year someone's tried to steal the secret of the 11 oils and spices. I should never have made it up. It's just been more trouble than it's worth. Wait, it's a lie? Oh. There's no magic in the oils and spices? Oh, poo. That part's just marketing. The real magic is just in sitting down and relaxing and having a long, hot bath. Oh. You young people just don't make enough time for that. You're always running around and saying things like, Oh no, Mama Vig is going to turn us all into oozes. Rapdos is awake again. The implicit maze didn't make any stops in the 6th district. We need to start a letter writing campaign. Ugh. The sa and now the sausages are filled with fingernails or whatever that old bot man was complaining about. It's always one sort of emergency of another. You can always just sit down and take some time for self-reflection. Yeah. That's the real healing magic, but that doesn't sell spa admissions. You'd have known that if you had taken up my offer to stay here and become my apprentice, Molander. But no, no. I've heard my calling and Ravnica needs me. <sighs> that is true. And look. Look, we're doing good. We stopped the bad people from stealing something that didn't matter. Nog's still like ferrying around on the back <laughs> in the background. Like, on, on the back of Valencia sliding along the oil. Goodness, <laughs> they've knocked over an entire jug of sandalwood oil. What stupid thieves. Oh. Avenir's considering yet another ruined outfit. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I do, I do appreciate that that you, you have to follow your own path. 
But after you are done helping Ravnica, please promise me you will use your talents to come back here and help our family. Do you know how many incompetent grandchildren I have? Mo, you are the smartest of them all. Do not leave me in this situation. Oh, that's a lot of responsibility, but I do get it. I've been working hard to be smart, and I think the hard work is paying off. Like, my I... friends trust me. Yes! Yeah? Yeah! I'm proud of you, Mo. Oh. And I know you are doing a hot to... You, I, you are doing your best to help the community. You're just doing it in your own way. Oh, thanks, Nonna. Hug? Uh, hug. Yeah! I'll sign your sausage thing now. Somebody who needs you. You hear that? She'll when sign it. Yay! Yeah. Everybody get up the thing. Oh, your coffee's kind of oily now. <coughs> I'm going to have to wait for another sale of Banana Republic so I can refresh my wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nana Elga pulls a pen out of one of her, her like, somewhere in her robes. Hmm. Says, and does a beautiful flourishing s signature that has the Selesnia insignia sort of incorporated Ooh. into it. It's very nice. She's had hundreds Elaborate. of years to work on it. Neat. Awesome. So, now Mo, mm -hmm. I do love you and I appreciate it. And I'm glad they are closing that, that hair loophole in the sausage thing. That's disgusting. Mm. Yes. But do, but if you go eight days again without visiting. Yes, Nonna. Yes, Nonna. I understand. I'll be, I'll try and come home more regularly. Good boy. Thank you. I, I have a slime and a minotaur I need to go catch up with now. <laughs> Matt Selesnia's blessings be with you. Selesnia's blessing with you too, Nonna. And with that, you have obtained five of ten guild signatures! Yay! Yeah. So what a perfect place to end our campaign for the night. Awesome! <laughs> Holy moly! Yeah! Whew. You did it. We did it. And I'm drenched. Perfect. We'll see you all next time on Dice Friends.